Ooh, sweet baby. Nice. Hey. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, so what's up, everybody? Welcome yeah. to episode 12 of our 2022 Odyssey, our journey through this collecting world together. Uh, good panel tonight. Let me go ahead and just quickly introduce everybody, though I don't believe any introductions are necessary. Everybody knows this fine panel here, but we'll start with Desi. How you doing tonight, brother? Not bad. Not bad for a Monday night. Not at all. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for the invite. Looking forward to it. Absolutely, sir. And for our first time, we've got Kiko up in here. Finally, how how you, how you doing tonight, man? I'm glad I'm glad you're finally able to get in here. Yeah, man. It's been it's been a minute. I know we've been trying to get the, our schedules to work itself out, but yeah, hell yeah, we're excited to be here. And shout out to my man Josh Pence, who is on. He said that he is here for me, so I appreciate that. Hopefully, I can return the favor. But we got a lot to talk about today. It's going to be a good good episode. So it's good to be here with everybody. It's quite the pleasure. Absolutely, bud. And this man here needs no introduction. Ares Terrington, the Dark Jedi. What is up, buddy? Hey, huge, huge honor to be here uh, back. I think it's the second time on your show. I love your intro, bro. Um, so, so real honor to be here and uh, honored to be here with Brother Cousins, Kiko, Desi. These are all people we know and uh, looking forward to it, brother. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And last but certainly not least, <laughs> the smooth hey space pimp <laughs> it stuck with you it's forever your name brother cousins my man my brother what's going on what's up with you bro man i appreciate the invite as always can't wait to talk about all that we need to talk about tonight hell yeah hell yeah guys so with that um let me just go ahead and real quick because we already got a lot of people up in here man uh let me try to just address the chat if possible here we have a single songwriter up in here Max is geekdom, KG Smith, uh, Side Dream. Uh, who else do we have in here? Bear with me, guys. I'm still trying to get through this sickness, too. Fabio is up in here. Where are the hot dancing girls already? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> not. A... <laughs> you got away from my show for that one, my intro. Right. <laughs> right. Hell yeah. Three dudes mashups. Andrew James, Knights of Ren. What's up? Primetime Reviews is up in here as well. AJ, hey, how you doing, bud? Uh, so we got, you know, collector number one. Guys, I'm trying to run through all these right now. Ben, Ben, what's going on, Ben? Uh, Ninja Squirrels up in here. Aloha, Six Hill Mafia, and Iron Logan. Iron Logan will be with us, but he's he's running a, he's running a little late, so we'll stay tuned for that. Josh Pence is in here, as you said. Uh, live stream says six. I'm calling YouTube for a <laughs> refund. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we were running a little bit late. Moz Toy Box also up in here. What's going on, Moz? Uh, I'm trying to see who else is up in here, guys. My uh, Simon, what's going on, Simon? Philip the Fool also up in here. Jason as well. I uh, appreciate everybody tuning in tonight, man. Um, it's going to be a little, we have a few things to talk about. Just, um, oh, Riley Ramirez as well. All right, guys, Diablo mm -hmm. Fett, Beskar Kid. Guys, everybody, Oof. appreciate you all tuning in. Maniac UK. All right, so with that, I mean, how was everybody's weekend? Good. I finally got over my hangover. I was talking about that with on Will's show last night because <laughs> I, I went so damn hard with my Bengals game that, you know, it took me, I'm getting a little bit up in years now, so I don't recover quite like I used to. So when I went live with Will yesterday, you know, I wasn't exactly where I wanted to be, um, but, but now we're feeling great today. So you may even get an even better show today than we got yesterday. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to be on Will's last night, but I, I've been in bed all week or uh, not all week, all weekend. Um, you guys know, may or may not know, I got that, that COVID shit, man. And like last week it hit me for like a couple of days and I was like, oh, this is nothing. And I toughed it out, you know, and it wasn't too bad. And then I don't know the second, I don't know if it was like a second wave or something, but I am just, dude, I'm laid out, man. I wasn't, I couldn't get out of bed. Mm. I'm spinning. I was just feeling like crap. I got up, I sat at my computer because I was going to try to get on will. I slept all day. I'm like, all right, let me get on the computer and no. There was no way. There was just, you know what I mean? I had to go lay back down, man. So it's it sucks. I'm feeling a little bit better today, though. So I'm glad we're all here. I really didn't want to miss out, um, you know, for tonight. But, uh, yeah, it's all good, though, man. I did tune in on you guys, though, last night. I fell asleep watching, and then I woke back up, and there were more people on the street. So I was like, oh, yeah, he's bringing out everybody tonight. So, anyway, with that, my Brother Cousins, I saw you were there as well. Yeah, it was yeah, a good show. Like fifth hour. It was great. It was good. It was a good show. Yep. Yeah, I felt bad. I was like, oh, I should try to get on, but I just... That was rough, man. So, anyway, and also, 
Aries, by the way, I know I was on your show this weekend, but I want to also again say congratulations on the one year anniversary and the 2000 subscribers. Yeah, well, thank you so much. I appreciate you bringing that up. It's uh it was it was awesome. It was awesome to have that that one year anniversary show and and it hit 2k and it hit over 700 members on our Facebook uh platform. We also hit over 400 members on our Instagram platform and um yeah, and it was one year. You know, the first the first video went up January 18th of 2021. So, uh, yeah, it was nice to hit all those milestones in, in under a year. So definitely a lot of fun. And thank you again for being on the show. No, of course. You're welcome to see Will here. Uh, so thank you for the kind words I joined tonight. But I'm social distancing from Anthony. Like this, like, you know what? It's Better not, to be it's safe. Go through, it's not going through the microphone on you guys, man. Uh, so... And anyways, so I, as you probably have noticed, the Boba Fett is here. I know, brother cousins, you have yours as well. Yes, um, sir. And I, I, I for I know uh, Aries. I know yours has probably come through sideshow, right? And, um, and, and same with with Desi and Kiko. I'm assuming. Mine's over here. I got it already. Oh, you do have. Yeah. Okay, so you did get him in. Okay, I wasn't sure. I've been out of it a little bit too, guys. So, so I guess for for myself and and, and brother cousins and and Kiko, what do you what do you guys think now that you have it in hand? I guess maybe I'd start with Kiko on that one. Well, I appreciate you giving me uh, the leadoff shot here. I appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, I got mine in a couple days ago and already did some photos of it. That's one of the things I love to do. For those that don't know, I do have an Instagram page where I do some toy photos and such. So, um, yeah, the, immediately the first thing I wanted to do was grab the head sculpt and plop it on the you know rearmored body because I think that is the star of the figure is the head sculpt. Um, the when you're looking at them, looking at them right now, you know, I got it with my little Boba Fett pieces over there, the little Boba shrine. I love the dynamic little display pieces that they gave. I thought that really adds to it. Um, but the rearmored look is just damn good. It really, really is. Um, it, it, it commands a shelf presence, even from far away. Um, you don't have to be right up on it to appreciate it. But then when you actually do get to see the head sculpt, I mean, it is something. Um, I gave it a nine out of 10. The one big mark I have against it is that I hate the attachments for the rifle and the gaffy stick. Uh, if they suck. Um, I don't know what's yeah. going on there with the gaffy stick. It's like a weird little fish line that you're supposed to put on the back of the rifle or something. And then my clips at least for the rifle, like kept popping off and I couldn't like move them at all. And they were a pain in the ass to try to get on. So that, mm. that was the only issue I had with this figure and or figures. I, I think it's absolutely fantastic, but if they could just fix that one little thing and that's just a little nuance, um, right. I think it's a special piece, man. I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that as well, man. I have like, <clears throat> like the rifle's a little weird, right? But you can, you can keep him on its back. You just, you have to just slip the, the, the strap. That's all you got to do. Uh, Cause when I first put it on, I was noticing that it was bending uh, until I realized that, you know, you can slip and actually shout out to Moz. Moz let me know on that one that, uh, that thing that slides. Cause I didn't know, you know, at first mm -hmm. and I was like, oh yeah, it is, it is kind of bending. Um, but if you slide that, that, uh, that strap over, just for future reference, for those who don't have the figure yet, it's totally okay to have on your on his back. You just need to slide it. But I I agree that weird fish fish line thing on on the gaffy stick <laughs> is like I don't know what's up with that. Um, what what, what are your opinions, uh, Jay, brother cousins? Yeah, man, I love it. Um, I gave it a ten. <laughs> I love it. even with the little nuances, and I and and I agree with Kiko. The whole thing with the little fishing line on the gaffy stick, it was just that could have been handled differently. The thing that I struggled with was the little uh the whistling bird effects on the uh on the knee pad firing, you know, with them firing out and how they attach. Um, if you if you're having problems with that, they don't attach the way you think. Um, it looks like it goes over the guns and maybe you know somebody uh, over the little uh barrels right there but you should move it up just a tad bit and then throw it across um and then kind of force it in i mean it works i got it to work it took while it took a while but um you'll get it to work yeah it's definitely uh it's it's a tricky it's a tricky situation with him but yep. i think he's great man i'm i'm in the same boat i think as both of you guys I, my own, that, that's really my only gripe is the stick and the rifle, but the rifle was not too, I, I didn't actually have problems though, like with the rifle itself, like anything coming off of it. Um, like there's like a little the, clamp or something, I guess that, uh, that wraps around and each 
on both ends of mine, it would pop off. It's like a little button clip. And I don't know if mine was bent or something. Oh, for, but oh, for I, the strap itself? Yeah, yeah, the, the way it attaches. Oh. And so there's like a little clamp and it like little pops off. And I was doing everything I could to get it to finally get in there. And I finally rigged it up to where I think it's okay. I mean, I'm not going to be moving around the rifle too much. but And I just gave up on the, the fishnet. He's just holding the gaffy stick in his hand on that one. So I'm not yeah, throwing that over his back. Yeah, he's holding it too. I was like, yeah, I looked at it and I was like, nah. <laughs> no, I ain't, I'm, I ain't got the patience for this shit, man. Uh, right. you know, Cause it is, it's this weird little stringy. Uh, yeah. It just sucks. Uh, I'll, I'll agree with you on that, but yeah, I'm going to, I mean, I, I still have to do my review. I haven't watched anybody's reviews, you know, partly. Yeah, if that's the only complaint about these things, I think that's a win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Right. That's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking too. So we'll see when I do my review, but in hand. Yeah. And, and, Ar and Aries, you know, we talked about this on your stream many times, this was prior to me even having it in my hand that this was going to be an instant grail. And I think now that it's now it's in my hand and I was able to compare this sculpt with, you know, my other good sculpts. This is, this is, this is a phenomenal piece. Hmm. This is a phenomenal piece. Yeah. So, so now that you've got it in hand, Anthony, is it possible that you feel the same way when you compare it to that Alec Guinness and Peter Cushing head sculpt? So I'm just curious about it. Yes. I mean, a hundred, a hundred percent. Like, and I, and I was tripping, you know, when we were looking at the photos and I saw that I'm looking and I'm trying to compare just with photos. And I, and I, with that, I was like, yes, this looks amazing. I'm almost positive. It's going to outdo it. And then now having it in hand, I mean, if I grab him, I just kind of had him in like a basic, Oh, there mm. goes the stick. <laughs> but I mean, if, if I want to bring it up for you guys, and maybe I'll just do a brief here. Let me give a, a solo layout. Um, <laughs> dude it's amazing yeah i mean it's it's a truly a work phenomenal of art phenomenal 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 well you know that that just tells me what what i suspected you know because that moff tarkin and that a new hope obi wan kenobi figures uh, are are both grails at this point and they're two of the most funny. coveted head sculpts for Star Wars Hot Toys history. And so when we were discussing, and, and I was discussing and pointing out that this could be one of the greatest head sculpts, not only all time of Star Wars, but all time for, for Hot Toys and figure sets, you really have to factor that in um, when people are going to realize that once this is sold out, whenever that's going to be. You know, a lot of people comment on just, you know, what was one of the best hot toys ever made. So that's really interesting to see when you guys are getting this in hand that it actually, you know, uh, you know, it, it's it's better that, that even some of those that people consider to be almost untouchable. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I yeah. that's what I was asking before, too. And I know sometimes it's apple to oranges. Right. Um, but uh, is this the best head sculpt yet? Can it be categorized there? And if not, at least up there with things, you know, sculpts like Tarkin, Yondu, if if we will. You know, I don't have Yondu, but hey, heck, I don't have this one either, but I've seen the pictures. So what do you, the, for the people that have it in hand, what do you guys think? I think it's going to be interesting to see um, where it officially lands, because obviously it's new to everybody right now. And so it's the, it's the new shiny thing to me. I, I stand by it. I think the Nicholson Joker is the best head sculpt of all time, just because it's mm. so unique because the paint apps are incredible. The, the smile, the teeth, and, that, and that's one thing to take into consideration about the Nicholson Joker is that it's got teeth all completely sculpted and painted perfectly as well. And yep. so that's what makes it, for me, a little bit different. Then you talk about Yondu. He's got the scruff on the chin, which makes that you know a little bit different with the, with the veins. But if you're talking about human head sculpts, like straight human head sculpts, I definitely think it's a top five. Um, you start talking about you know the Evan sculpt um, that came with in-game cap. Um, I, I consider that to be one of the best, you know, human ones and i mean this is definitely a top five i'm just kind of looking right now to see what else it may be but and krennic would probably be another one i think is fantastic but oh, yeah. uh, but as far as dethroning the nicholson joker i don't think we can say that one just yet yeah not but, just yet that's yeah that's my favorite uh hot toy next to the 89 batman so i would have to agree but i don't have this one in hand yet so we'll see I would I would agree, <laughs> 100 to that. Um, that the sculpt is up there. I say it's definitely up there with the Tarkins, 
with the uh with the critics with uh with the allegheny it's definitely up there um on that but yeah it's, i'll say it's about top five but i wouldn't i'm not gonna say it's the best i'm yeah i kiko i totally i totally agree with both of you guys <laughs> about the uh about the 89 joker the nicholson sculpt that's that's something special right there well i mean to be fair i mean hot toys has you know what kiko this you you mentioned it and you cursed me because i dropped them and now that damn i can't get this thing to freaking oh i might have got it i might have got it did i get it I didn't, yeah i had to I completely I, this I had to came thread off. it through and then start put the rifle through it i had to buckle it and then put the rifle through mm-hmm. is what i'm doing yeah it, it fell and popped off chapped ass well i'll mess with him later um but i i do agree there's been some phenomenal head sculpts over the years but I, he's definitely he's up there you know he's up there now i think he he is that kind of yondu status uh, yeah. in my opinion I, I, honestly i think you know why it works i think in my opinion is because there's no hair right so we don't have sculpted hair we don't have rooted hair so now you get to see all this detail on, on the skull he's got all the scars all, yeah. all the like the wrinkled effects and that really i think that really uh accentuates like the whole sculpt in its entirety right because you're not you're no longer just looking at like re- at just the portrait you're seeing like everything or you know what i mean like does that make sense you yeah, yeah you have well, your hand, so you know what i mean i mean yeah, i mean seeing him week after week on the show too um with no hair is is helping as well because mm-hmm. it's looking just like he looks in the um you know uh you know, backtracking scenes anyway that that they're doing. So I think, think it makes it even more special. The fact that you see this toy and then you see him on Disney Plus and you're like, holy crap, what's the difference? And uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty freaking, pretty freaking awesome. But I think at the end of the day, you know, I'm listening to some of you guys here. It is number one or it's it's in top five. I mean, if, if you could put this at a top five of hot toys of all time, this is perhaps a set, you know, likely, and even like that Jack Sparrow, that people are just going to want, even if they don't, um, aren't into Star Wars, just to have that lore, just to have that piece of Hot Toys lore. I make no mistake about it, and I've spoken about this on my channel. Um, there, There is some Hot Toys lore, and especially with how unique that they are and how they can't be topped. And then after a couple of decades, that lore is going to continue and people are going to start seeing, especially in the third decade here, just, just how important that is, especially with secondary market prices. But anyway, to me, that says a lot. Absolutely does. I think I'm, I'm right there with you. I think, I think everybody here on the panel is in agreement with that. I mean, he's the, this particular figure, I mean, at the beginning of 2022 is, it's got to be in the top five. I think it's got to be in the top five of, Absolutely. I mean, top what well, it's five, you know, I, I say that and then I think about it, but cause there's been a lot of figures over the years, but I, I think, I don't know. You think, you think he might be in the top five category? Uh, what do you guys think? Of all time of hot toys. Of all of all time. Time. Ooh, um, I think it's still kind of early to say that all right now. Yeah. I think we got a lot of heat coming out this year. Um, right now I would say, let's just, lump it as two packs is this the best two is this one of the top five best two packs that we got oh. from Hot Toys? absolutely absolutely i put that up there with the with the han and chewy like i said i think han and chewy would be the best two pack mm, um the second would be krennic i mean i'm sorry krennic uh vader and uh tarkin and then mm-hmm. this the top third i don't know where the, maybe fourth would be um uh bb8 and uh bb8 and uh God, Ray, Ray and BB-8. DX07 for Star Wars. Don't forget that one. DX, oh, yes. Yeah, best in Luke. That should have been the uh, reorder, reorder that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, reorder that if, one. If they did, yeah. if, if they if they reissued that now, I, I understand that some of these head sculpts like we're talking about there are, are, are superior. That one still holds up, though. I would absolutely 1,000% pick that up because i I look on uh, i look every week to try and pick that up as i patiently wait (laughs) sipping coffee for a best spin luke but anyway yes Mm. well well, i'm hoping they're gonna put that guy out but again if if they do we're not getting the two-pack no that's that's a one and Uh, done you never know Um, though but i agree with you i I don't think we are 
But what Hot Toys, who the heck knows? Because they threw some things at us, Anthony, in in 2021 that a lot of us said, no, no, no way. (laughs) You never know. That's true. The Blurg. (laughs) How's that selling, Jesse? I I feel like (laughs) it would be a little crazy if they were to actually straight reissue a two-pack of Bespin Loop. You know? I mean, we saw what they were showing off for it, and I feel like if they do put it out, it's going to be... it's just a single, you know what I mean? I don't, but I don't know, because that thing's so cool, man. No. Uh, with the with the diorama base and everything, and I just, I, it's, it's hard to go backwards for it, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know um, if they'd ever go ahead. I'm sorry, did I interrupt somebody? No, go for it. Go for it. No, I was gonna say that I don't know, to my knowledge, that they've ever done a DX re-release of uh, is upgraded a, a two pack because the DXO one was a two pack. Well, you got the, you got the stuff, you know, the Joker and then the cop Joker. But then when they re-released it for the, just the letter Joker, there was only just the one in there. And so I'd be, I guess Luke would be the first, if they ended up doing that, the DXO seven, that would be the first two pack re-release from a DX line. So that mm. would be interesting to see. So uh, as, as everyone always says, there's no way to ever know what they're thinking or what they're going to do. Someone somewhere <laughs> deep in the tower has all these analytics. That they know that's going <laughs> to give them all the money possible. I would love to know what those spreadsheets look like, but from here, it's just, you know, fun speculation. Well, you, you know, it's For interesting, sure. uh, Kiko, that, that you mentioned that because I, I had recently watched um, <clears throat> last week or so, the video that you put out, on on reissues and the percentages and it was interesting that you're able to crunch those numbers and look at you know uh, uh, roughly it's about a five percent ratio right through pretty much every line in hot toys there's a five percent chance thus far uh, of a chance of a reissue and i was i was shocked to, to you know when you think about it when you really look at those numbers i mean that's not a that's a really low percentage yeah. and someone brought up the point that you know it's just been recently that they've started to push these out no, so the I they, they've had to get this catalog first before they can actually go back and start redoing it. So the number's a little bit skewed, I'm sure, you know, and it will creep up a little bit higher. But it, I guess, at the pace that it's going at, I, I think we sometimes put a little too many eggs in one basket there. So I would be anxious to or eager to see rather, you know, where that number does officially end up. But who knows, man? Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we never really, all of us, I mean, we speculate and everything, but like you, like you said, and everybody on the panel, it's like, we don't know what Hot Toys is doing, right? They could, they could just surprise us one day and, and drop us a, a DX07 re, you know, straight reissue two pack. I mean, it's, I don't know though, you know, I mean, it would make sense if they did that. I mean, I think that would sell, but I guess Iron Man just sells. That's like, that's their, I think somebody said, I think we were on this panel. Somebody said that's like their residual income, Iron Man. They would just put out an Iron Man anytime, you know, mm-hmm. your sure money needs to be made, put out an Iron Man. <laughs> and why not? It's popular all over the world, especially in, you know, in their neck of the woods in Asia. You know, it yeah. only makes sense. You yeah. know, yeah. they reissue it and everybody buys it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, they will. And that's, that is their, that is their, their, their residual income. Yeah. Like we'd mentioned in the past, it's just, they're like, you know what? Let's put out an Iron Man. It's gonna sell. And and, and it's no disrespect. I know we, we kind of shit on it sometimes, but I mean for the Iron Man lovers, it's it's a it's a phenomenal time, right? Yeah. Because I yeah. have friends that are just that's that's what they all about, yo, is Iron Man. So if if they put out 76 Iron Mans, they're buying 76 Iron Mans, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um but for me, yeah, I I I yeah, uh, I understand you know- it's just uh, on the Star Wars side, they put out 76 stormtroopers because that brings them in money too. So they're like, hey, we just true. need money for Star Wars, just put out yeah, troopers. True. And how many people buy multiples of those troopers? Are you kidding me? Nope. So I think that actually may, may, maybe the stormtroopers, Anthony, are the uh, Iron Man's really, not necessarily the Mandalorian or, or, or Boba Fett for Star Wars. Those troopers, they, they, they're going to who knows how many they're gonna they're gonna announce this year? I mean, who thought we were gonna have three short troopers when it was all said and done? You know, this, <laughs> yeah. this time last year, you know, people Good were paying yeah. six hundred bucks for a short trooper, and now you can get them for you know sub retail because mm-hmm. there's so many of them at this point. Oh, the same thing, Kiko, with uh, with, with with the death troopers. I mean, how many of those do we got now? I mean, oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I think there's three or four different ones of that. I mean, there's the specialist, there's the Mando version, there's the Rogue One version. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think there's definitely three or four. 
Yeah, there and, and Aries brings up a good point because I, these may be like our Iron Mans, I guess in a, in a, in a sense, right? But I mean, I feel like they're different enough, and maybe I'm just not being very. Maybe I'm being ignorant to the fact that Iron Man's are Iron Man, so I just say, oh, they're all Iron Man. You know, even though, like, troopers, I guess, are troopers. But I feel like these are different-looking enough to where, for myself, I justify the the purchase, right? Whereas, like, sometimes I'll look at, like, a friend's collection of Iron Man's, and I don't know if it's just my brain, but I just see a wall of Iron Man. And it's hard for me to sometimes differentiate, like, which Iron Man is which. You have a to wall think of armor because around the world <laughs> <laughs> because you're thinking of Iron Man with with Robert Downey Jr. You got to think of this, uh, although the, the I guess the OT does it, but a funny thing is think of it as Tamora Morrison. There you go. So kind of the same thing. Yeah, I, I think just the, <laughs> the the Iron Man. I, I think it's the same deal. It just depends which one you know better. Like there's some people you know that know all those Iron Man marks. Uh, by heart and they'll they'll pick it up and other people will see these stormtroopers and say well they're just all stormtroopers that they all look pretty much the same i think this one's wearing pants and the other one's <laughs> wearing armor instead of pants you know but <laughs> they won't know uh whereas i i know these stormtroopers you know i can probably pick them up but the iron man uh, it's like eh, i know marks one through seven and then you know 50 and 85 that's about it all those ones in the middle i, I kind of get lost on so yeah, yeah, the house party protocol is hard to, hard to get all down, especially because yeah. they all dumped you, dumped them on you like 30 at one time. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. They, they put out so many guys, um, so many of those, and and they're all plastic. So I, for me, I was just like, I don't want to get them. I, I did. Yeah. I think I got the stealth suit Iron Man Mark Seven uh, at one point. I just thought it was really nice looking. I ended up selling it um, just because it's just it's. It's a little too much for me, and plus my my major my major lane is Star Wars. You know what I mean. So then it's like, I can't. St you can't. For me anyway, I could not buy one Iron Man and be satisfied. So it's either I'm in Iron Man or I'm I'm out. Like that's there's no there's no in between for me. So that was that was really tough. That's a tough call for me. But I was like, nah, I got to bail out because I would end up trying to get all these guys. Um, but I mean, speaking of the troopers, I mean. I know this came out. Um, I'm going to be picking it up. Uh, let me just ask with Desi first. Just we'll briefly go over this guy. Uh, are you picking him up? Yeah, probably. I didn't have him on pre-order, right? But I'll probably mm -hmm. pick him up when he comes in uh, in the States. Uh, I love this. This is one of my favorite designs. It's For me, it's, it's Shore Trooper, probably Death Trooper, uh, and then this one before the original Trooper. I mean, all the designs in Rogue One, like, they're awesome mm. uh, to me to me so i'll definitely pick this guy up he's simple but i really like him this looks so good are you just picking up one yeah ju just the one i try to get uh when it comes to all my figures i try to just get one per model number in other words one per mms or tms so yeah, i have all the shore troopers right i have the original rogue one i have the squad leader and i've got the grunt coming up but those are three different paint variations if you will but if I i'll only get one of each model if that makes sense Oh, fair enough. Uh, Kiko, I'm, I'm assuming you're, you're picking them up too? Yes. Uh, this is the one. I, I, I kind of like this one better than the Shore Trooper because it's got the Shore Trooper aesthetic, but it's got your typical Stormtrooper sc biker scout type of color to it. And that's the one I really, really like. And I think this is an absolute win, absolute home run. And as I said last, <laughs> excuse me, as I said on Will's last night, is that anything with a Rogue One stamp on it, you get it now or you will pay for it later on. And mm -hmm. so that is one thing. If you think you might want this, take a chance on it, knock it out, and you'll be happy that you did. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that one. I mean, Rogue One, it's it's so weird how, <clears throat> excuse me, how all the, the time has passed. But every Rogue One figure. Is yeah, they're around. all like two or three times retail. Um, yeah. It, it's crazy to think about. Yeah. So when you think about that and you're like, oh, shit i passed on this and now he's <laughs> you won't think about it but he i think he would turn into a shore trooper status figure in in say you know two years from now oh, i mean what, what do you think jay yeah absolutely um me personally i'm gonna get it um when it comes stateside um and i know for me this is i'm gonna fall in this hole if i get this i'm gonna end up going back and buying backwards and buying these uh 
<laughs> and buying these figures. And I know that's going to be very costly. <laughs> these are for one figures, but I, I, I need it. I, I definitely need at least two of them. I, I need my Jenner. So I got to buy Krennic back again, which I shouldn't have sold Krennic. <laughs> but at that time, that was the yeah. only one that I had. Um, so, yeah, but I'm going to get Krennic. And I know I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting a Tark. I'm getting a Tark and Invader box set at some point. At some point this year. So um, maybe who knows? Maybe around tax time, something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So yeah, definitely gonna be getting this one. But gonna wait on it. But eventually I'll have it. And you're gonna get, and you're gonna get at least two. You're saying and at least two of Rogue One figures. Yeah, they're just too sweet. Uh, yeah. Aries, of course. I know you're you're kind of selective with your Star Wars, but I mean, what is your what are your thoughts on this trooper? I think first Kiko brings up an excellent point. Um, that's kind of been a point I've been I've been trying trying to 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 drive home, and this is a perfect example. You know, Kiko, when you were when you were bringing up that you know this is a Rogue One release, and go ahead and scoop it up. You know, is it possible? You know, really with with these releases, I really feel that Hot Toys, if they already have molds for something, whether it's in production or coming up. Even if they only wind up making a certain amount of them, it's worth it for them to go ahead sometimes and put these on the pro uh, on the production line. And you have to wonder, is it possible that with other figures that we were basically saying, I can't believe that there's three, um, you know, of, 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 of these short troopers already, or there, mm. there's a couple of, uh, you know, these, these tank troopers. You have to wonder if part of, part of what they're going to do is come out with more figures where they have the molds for, and they have some of the design elements, Desi, already in there, where it's not going to cost them that much, and be fine, which I think they're going to make more than that with this one, but you never know. But, you know, making three three to 7,000 uh, of a particular figure, be like calling it a day and cashing in on it. So to me, I think they're going to be doing that a lot more often than not. And with some of these figures, like how long they go to to stay in stock, it ain't going to matter because they're not going to make as many of them. I think that that's where they're going. Your second part of your question, I am very selective because that's how I'm able to enjoy this hobby and have all this positive energy because I could look into my wallet and it's not barren. It's not a wasteland. It's not like the desert behind this guy or behind the uh the, the the two pack boba fett so i have a lot of troopers in my collection the only ones that i have in hot toys though are ones that come in head sculpt is it possible i'm gonna get these they're all my bucket list for the future yes but you have to prioritize it's like i've been collecting for years and you don't just get into collecting and think you're gonna get them all at once you have to kind of have a plan and you build from there and so I'm building. So am I going to get this? Not right now. Fair point. Fair point. The, the, the only problem I have with that line of thinking sometimes as, as, as like Kiko brought up and Jay that, you know, be, being a rogue one, it's, it's, it sucks because if I don't pick it up and I, and I do want it down the road, I feel like I'm going to miss out. You know what I'm saying? And it, and that's, that's my only fear um in that respect for these particular figures because i i just love mm -hmm. rogue one and i and in my position i have just about every rogue one figure so then i'm like i gotta you know what i mean i gotta get it or or at least put put down a, an nrd or something to, to lock it in because I, I i i think we all get it as collectors though right like if there's a figure that we want and we're, we're kind of on the fence about it and then then maybe we revisit that later and we look and we're like oh no it's gone yeah. Like it's too late like i've it's too late now and uh so it's a good point I, and i think that sometimes you just have to play time and, and what, I, what i mean by that is look look how much people were paying for the rex and the cody for sideshow and mm -hmm. you know some of the clones that they have and long time to be patient but if if you're patient or you're trying to focus on one thing all of a sudden now you got Cody and Rex that you could pick up from Hot Toys and forget about Cody now, but you could get Rex right now for much more reasonable than Rex was going for on, on Sideshow. So I think at the end of the day, there may be another company, you know, 10, 15 years and, and Hot Toys is gone and, and they're putting these uh, these figures out. The same thing that that's happened with, with Sideshow stopping that. So 
I yeah, I, I get it, an Anthony, but too. but for me, I feel like if you go down the road, and I did, and I suffered for it. If you go down the road where you have to have it now, and then you start thinking, and it's going to be too much later, so I'm going to that's the reasoning I'm going to use to get it. You could still get in trouble. So I'm always like, come up with a plan, build up to it. Hey, man, if I win the lottery, baby, I'm going to spill my coffee. I'll buy the whole <laughs> right. damn. I'll buy Fabio's collection. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, I agree with you. It's it's rough. And and but you you bring a good point though, because as curating through, you you know you're like, okay, if it has a head sculpt, that's something I'm more inclined to grab first, because yeah. you you have to budget. You have to budget. You have to budget. I mean, we all know that. Um, so it's tough. It's it's definitely tough. There's there is a there is a certain FOMO I think that we can all agree on, just as as collectors. Like never mind content creating, just as everybody in the chat, everybody on the panel, we all feel it. We all experience it. If there's a certain figure that comes out and we're just like, I like it, but I don't I don't know if I'm like blown away by it, but I still would like to have it. That happens that happens time after time after time. So you really have to know when to kind of step back on on some yeah. of these and be like okay i can't i can't swing this right now um i love the idea that you'd mentioned aries about you know the budget and the plan and playing the time game because there's been and we've talked about this ad nauseum multiple times with people about how quickly we are to give in to well everyone else is getting it at this time that means i have to have it too because all my friends on social media and all these fake internet points that I need, you know, I need those. I need, I need people to think that I have something going on and mm -hmm. it's such a dangerous game because there's been times, you know, when I've been so close to being coerced, you know, whether it be through a YouTube video or a, a Facebook post or Reddit post or something, I was like, Oh, do I need to get this? But there is something that really makes you feel good when you actually do show the restraint. And then you actually take a step back and be like, I am so glad I do not own that because we were talking about this again last night is that never put in something in your collection that you have no attachment to and don't just get stuff to get stuff. Yes. And yes. when you can actually press pause sometimes and be like, for, for example, I know when everyone was getting super hype about um, the, the, the Batgirl that, that came out and the Harley Quinn from Arkham Knight and fr from some of those, you know, I had some of the Arkham series and um, I ended up selling those because I had no attachment to them. And I feel mm -hmm. good about doing that because I was like, you know what, this is just confirmation that I don't need Batgirl. I don't need Harley Quinn because I don't even need these. And so I got rid of those. And so it feels good when you don't give in to some of the pressures sometimes. And so I can just for some of the people that maybe younger collect, not younger collectors, but new to collecting newer and to, yeah, yeah newer, newer collectors. And you're saying, Oh, I need this right now. Restraint is going to be your friend. And it's going to be so great when you say, wow, I'm so glad I have a collection that is me and not somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Always ask, why do you want this? Why? You know, cause yeah. if you don't, cause when you actually stop and you realize, okay, I just want it because there was a really good YouTube review. Well, that's great. But do you, are you just going to sell this figure down the line? That's okay too. But yeah, why waste the time? Why, you know, lose the value on it? Possibly, you know, don't do it. Just, uh, just get what you really know you want and you'll know, you'll know. Uh, especially if you, like you guys were saying, you're a new collector. You'll, you'll know what you really want uh, when it goes up for pre-order. You know, and you know what? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead, Aries. No, I was going to say, and and that's my problem. You know, I be you know, like like on my channel, sometimes a hot toys wizard comes on as TK FOMO, and but you know, I think and and FOMO is real, but I think we use the wrong word as we do in this world with, with a lot of things. I don't think it's so much fear, like Frankenstein of missing out. I think it's addiction right. of missing out is what we're going on over here in, in a very low way. You're like. Oh man, that I need that. It looks so good. And there's nothing to pick up right now. And the figure I really want is not there. So I'm kind of for lack of a better word, almost almost addicted to or, or or you know, you have to kind of hold back, take a step back, as you said, as Kiko said, take a deep breath and say, Do I really want this in my collection? Am I going to sell it down uh, down the line? Can I be patient? And wait. I mean, look at Brother Cousins going on the other side of the token. He yeah. doesn't have the Tarkin Invader 2 pack. Guess what? One of the greatest Star Wars fans in the world. Me too. I don't have the Tarkin Invader 2 pack. You see all the figures I have. Why don't I just sell the couple? Why don't I just skip out on some and just get the two pack? Well, because it's way too expensive, number one. 
even though I talk about uh, uh, the secondary market, you know, I'm trying to be trying to be patient about it. Is it possible that we are going to get another version of Peter Cushing down the road? And the way Star Wars is going, we haven't even begun to see content. I say sure. yes. Absolutely. You're right. I, th I think you're right. And, it, and it's good. It, I think it's important for us to have these conversations, you know, as yeah. as yeah. one, as as content creators and, and two, just overall members of the community. Right. That there's a lot of because we're, we're, we're all we all we're all do, we all do it. Right. We all yeah. we all hype things up because we're excited. And like you said, there is an addiction yeah. to it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, there is an addiction. Yeah, there's a hundred percent of addiction it's here. A complete addiction. I mean, like I buy from Toys Wonderland. I buy from Sideshow. I buy from my local comic store, and my local comic store sends me newsletters on Mondays. And I always find myself checking the newsletters just to see what Hot Toys is going to be coming out. And then I'll see something that I didn't pick up, um, and I'm like, okay. And I'll see something like that I wasn't planning on getting, but kind of looks cool. So I look at a couple of reviews on it, and I'm like, do I really need this in my collection? Sometimes I'm like. Yes, I really need it in my collection. I, it's cool. I didn't expect to get it, but I'm gonna get it because it's there. But I've ran into the I've ran into problems where I'll buy those figures and then I'll look at them after a couple of weeks and then I'm like, this really doesn't fit the collection. I really don't need this. And then I end up selling it. And when you sell it, I'll be I'll admit sometimes you'll take a hit on it depending on how how you want it how off how quick you want to get it unloaded. So. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be in that. You don't want to put yourself in that position. You don't want to put your wallet in that position because there's always something bigger and better to come out. And let's face it, like in the next couple of weeks, it's going to be Chinese New Year. A lot of stuff is not going to be stuff is not going to be coming out. And I know me, a lot of people start to go out looking for grails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially around tax time and all that. We start looking. Your eye starts to wonder because. Yeah, a lot of, you know, nothing's not coming out, but you can get caught up very easily because then February, the end of February comes or March comes, springtime comes and all these new figures start dropping. And it's just boom, like, boom, 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 boom. And there you go. So and you're like, yeah. 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 One of my big, pro uh, real, I'll just say real quick. One of my problems is, uh, as you guys mostly know, I have a lot of Star Wars figures. I, I, I have, I almost have everything that I want personally as a collector. With that said, there's not very much backwards that I need to do. At this point, if there's anything I need to grab that's Star Wars related or that's that sold out figures are troopers. Um, as far as like visual, like the face sculpt actors, I think I have everything that's ever been made M minus a couple, you know. So at this point, when you're caught up, for example, we have the two new short troopers. Uh, we have the assault tank commander, right? We, we just got Lando and the 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 mustard, you know, artillery trooper right now so if you get those right and you're caught up then you get this next there's this there's this thing in my head anyway so it's like what's the next step you're like i'm current i'm current i don't need to spend any money i got everything up to now but then the brain starts going and you're like well shit it's gonna be a while since you know season two mando comes out or whatever right then you start going then i start that's my problem then i start going backwards i'm looking I'm looking. I'm like, well, I've got everything. I don't. There's nothing coming right now. How much is this Death Trooper Specialist Deluxe? Let's start looking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're exactly like right this. on that because I know that once Chinese New Year comes up and there's that lull in between where there aren't releases, nothing's coming out, and there's nothing's being shipped either. So you're just kind of sitting there on your hands. And if you're like me, you're like, oh, I haven't, I haven't gotten anything in a while. Then you run to eBay and start making poor choices because I certainly have done that before because you need to scratch the itch. You need to fuel yeah. the, you know, the, yeah, we're that's collectors. The problem, and that's the problem. Right? That's exactly right. You just, yeah. you just took the words. That's what I was trying to come up. You need to scratch the itch, right? I'm chasing a dragon, right? Cause I'm like, I'm current, I'm current. Let's go backwards now. And then you're like, I just dropped like $600 on this figure. And why? Trust me. I've, I've been making some poor, I haven't made this one yet, but I've been trying to find, and I'm afraid, you know, during the, the lull during the Chinese new year, I'm going to go looking for that death star gunner. Cause that's the one piece that I'm missing, mm. you know, from my star Wars. And that's the I one do trooper that I don't that. have. Yeah. So, but every time I think I find one, I find one that has a missing antenna and I'm like, fuck. And, <laughs> I don't know what to do after that. So, no, so if anybody I, I, does have a Death Star Gunner for a great price, <laughs> hit your brother up. Yeah, please let us know. 
Uh, let her uh, yeah. look and I'm and I'm I'm with you on that because somebody in the chat I, uh, forgive me I forgot who who mentioned it earlier was wondering why why grab troopers instead of you know sculpted figures and that's why right there when you see these like Death Star gunners or this the Death Trooper specialist or there's just something about us as Star Wars fans that we're like dude these troopers look so freaking badass right that we're like it's it's Star Wars hard. that's yeah, a good question Wars, though dude. That's a great question. Like, why would you, if you had to budget, why would you pick up the troopers? Um, and, I, and I think the answer is different for everyone. I, I try to budget and I kind of stick to, to Star Wars. And I really like the design aspect um, and design factors of Star Wars, including the troopers. You know, it doesn't have to be something that is somebody that was a great character that I've really stuck with on screen. It doesn't have to be a main character. As long as I love the design, that goes, uh, that that's enough for me to buy a figure. Uh, and I've just, like I said, I've kind of narrowed it down to to Star Wars. So that's why it, it works for me. That and I don't go backwards. You know, I made that mm -hmm. fine line. If I can get something that's been out for retail or 10% above retail, that's where I draw the line. I don't go backwards. Mm -hmm. um, because if I did, then it'd just be, it would not be good. Never done no. it. So <laughs> that's just me. You know, oh, and and oh. and that's another thing, real quick, is is you put that parameter on yourself, and and I've talked spoke about this before. If you do go in the secondary market, whether it's you know during the the Chinese New Year or some type of lull, if you've already established a a ceiling where you're just not going to go over, if you could find it, ah, it's too bad I didn't go with something else. That also helps out too um as well so i really encourage people to to have that ceiling well aries then I, I can't get it for that price and but just remember you know when i do the market uh the market value chart at sixscalecantina.com and you see some of the uh, uh prices on there those are an average in order to get an average it's it's like it's like uh you know uh um, you know, Aaron Judge's uh, average, uh, you know, are the Yankees or it's something. It's an average. Sometimes you're, it's going to go for lower. Sometimes it's going to go for higher. So if you're patient, and a lot of times people tell me, well, I'm being patient. All I see it is going for higher. Be a little more patient. You look in the middle of the night, you look on an off weekend, and it goes for 150 less than what it is. It happens. And I do have to say, those middle of the night auctions, you can really steal because yeah. no one's awake bidding on them. And so if you can right. find people that like post, and that's also if you're a seller, don't post in the middle of the night, post in prime times so that people can actually, you know, bid on these things. So yes, if you're looking at yeah. one and it ends at like eight, nine, 10, 11 o'clock at night, keep an eye on that one because Aries, you are exactly right on that. Yeah. And it's usually, as, uh, Kiko, you're right. It, it's a seller error or they've heard, or they're just not savvy enough yet because they don't have the knowledge. <laughs> don't post it in the middle of the night. And I, I've scored with, with, with some of those before. Uh, but yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. And I, and I love that, that you have this set up. And obviously for those who don't know, uh, you know, with six scaled Cantina Aries's, you know, uh, market guide here online. I, I, dude, I love what you're doing. I've loved ever since you started this this has been such a helpful guide uh i think for new and old uh you know collectors alike that you know like you guys are saying you know some people go on ebay and just buy something because you know they just they want it or whatever they maybe they're just not educated i don't want to say educated enough but you know what i'm saying they don't know for sure what all they're getting into and and having this to, to be able to gauge and and kind of go in a little more uh informed before you make your purchase is is invaluable i think for us because these are expensive and when you're going backwards especially if you decide to go backwards you need to know what those prices are and being able to um dig around for example you know and and look at forums check facebook groups uh, mm -hmm. it's not always just like ebay and mercari or you know others Gary's just the heavy lifting for us and i appreciate that my brother <laughs> well, well thank you guys you're, you're all too kind and um uh, I enjoy I enjoy doing that, but you know you looked at that list, and I'll, I'll be talking about it later tonight. Um, but uh, you know you had a pawn and chewy, and, and here's the thing: got some news on that two pack a uh, secondary market wise, and it's just going through the roof. Hmm. But I feel like part of the reason is is people feel like there's no hope, no hope that they'll ever be a Harrison Ford figure. Mm -hmm. No, you know, no hope that that, you know, there'll, there'll be another dark side Anakin. And look, we can debate it all day. At the end of the day, when prices are going that high, Hot Toys does notice that. 
And Star Wars, they're just coming out with so much content for the future. Unless something happens with Star Wars, some type of controversy, and it goes off the air, or they're not going to put out these shows, you're going to get a Han Solo again, guys. Be patient. You're, you're just It's just going to happen. It's just too popular right now, and they got too much coming up for them not to ever release Harrison Ford again. So just right, keep like that in mind. For the rest of our lives, it's not. It's for you spend twelve hundred dollars on two pack. Yeah. Aries, I'm gonna. I don't want to steal any thunder from you in your show, but I do have to <laughs> ask you because I'm curious to what you would think if Han and Chewie show up in Book of Boba Fett. How much does that two pack go to when people start <laughs> freaking out and needing to have it? Um, honestly, it 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 goes to it's going to go to legendary status when it comes. Yeah, to I would think so toys. because yeah. Yeah. And, and, but you know, and here's the thing with that. And here's where I want to caution people because it's going to go bananas much like the return of the Jedi, uh, the Jedi Knight version of Luke went absolutely bananas after the Mandalorian season two finale. It was insane. And it's but you have, there. Yeah, and yeah, well, and especially there's big news on the Endor Deluxe, and I'll, I'll talk about that later. But if if they're going, it's going to happen with that two pack Kiko. And I think the question is: Is it possible if they show up that they actually release another two pack of Han and Chewie? But it would be the Book of Boba Fett uh, uh, version. That would be um, the question. And mm -hmm. I say yes. I think that they would one thousand for the money. They know people would buy that to it because Absolutely. they know how much they would get from it. Absolutely. 100%. I um, offer Boba tribute on a Chewie two-pack. Yeah, I mean, it's if if they're around, you guys bring up a good point, and maybe they do bring out another one branded on that. It's just it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. We never know. Like we said, we all, we all you know, we speculate, we guess, you know, we, we hypothesize together. But at the end of the day, it's just we don't know. One day we're going to be sitting here at night and then Hot Toys is going to put something up on their website and then we're all going to be blown away by it. You know well, I mean? you know what, Anthony? It's it's interesting. You know, it's how long will Hot Toys allow eBay and the secondary market to be cashed in on figures they have molds of, of $800 plus going over $1,000? I mean, how long business-wise are they going to do that before they're like, huh, con exclusive, here you go. Spend well, half... You know <laughs> they do that right i mean we saw that with war machine mark one he was astronomically priced uh nightmare batman was the same you know they're, they're selling seven eight nine hundred dollars for these figures and then hot toys is like here you here you go reissued and you know and here's the interesting thing because i've heard this before and and here's my argument to it because it is a good point but here's my argument to it aries it's too many figures they just can't come out with the ones you're talking about and these reissues is it really? Because even with everything they have now, look at all look at all the figures selling in the secondary market. How do you explain that? Day after day after day after day. And then Marvel has has triple as much as Star Wars. And now Star Wars is on equal footing. It looked like it wasn't. It looked like a dud during Last Jedi. But I think that that was more... You brought this up, Anthony. Star Wars never really went out of business it was just people were were down on it so it, it seemed like it was like comparing uh uh you know scooby-doo to uh um you know uh <laughs> to, 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 to spider-man but but it really isn't there really are an equal footing i think that they are look no, at all the theme parks uh to, to star wars yeah star wars has never been dead i mean despite you know the it's it's ups and downs through you know the, the recent years i think you know, sure, some people were disappointed by where the direction Star Wars was going. But, yeah, as a whole, Star Wars is going to stand the test of time, bro. I mean, 100 years from now, people are still going to be into Star Wars. I mean, really, long mm -hmm. since we'll, we'll be long gone from this, this, this Earth, right? Star Wars is still going to be Star Wars. It's going to have its ups and downs just like anything else. But it's not a property, in my opinion, that is going to, you know go off into oblivion and just disappear. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's like Star Trek, same thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Star Trek's been out, uh, you know, a quarter of of uh, 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 the birth of our nation, if you think about it, right? 25% 20, of since we were, America's been founded, the, the length of time, Star Trek is so in, well ingrained into pop culture, even if you don't watch it, you know, you're, you're familiar with it. You know, what, you know what it is, and that's the same with Star Wars. So, again, if it has its ups and downs, that's fine, but it's not going, it's not going 
I don't think so. So, um, but I will not I do switch the subject. Up. I just got to ask you real quick because you're a Star Trek fan. Oh, I on. love the uh, the the new crew. Are they ever going to come out with the fourth one with uh, um, gosh, and now the names are Zachary Quinto and and what's his name there? Um, uh, uh, Chris I forgot Pine? who plays Kirk. Yeah, Chris Pine. Because I yeah. love those three movies. I'd love to see a fourth. Yeah, um, I, I, I would say stay tuned on that uh, as far as releases are concerned uh, in that department. But yeah, I, 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 I believe, I believe. Uh, we'll just stay tuned on that, <laughs> that one. Because um, there are, there's a, it's a place. There's I'm a place waiting for, for a fourth film. I'm waiting for it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, man. They were in talks forever. And then I don't know if it's a limbo or I don't know what's going on. Um, but as we are talking, obviously, about figures, I wanted to bring this up um, to you guys here on the panel. And I was thinking most underrated figures because we all talk about these. You know, we, 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 we clamor at, you know, Star Wars or, or, or things with we're looking at head sculpts and we're just like, oh, this, this figure is amazing. This figure is amazing. But there's a lot of them that fall under the radar. And I, I wanted to start with you, Desi, on what do you think? is a couple of underrated figures that, that you believe a lot, a lot of people just didn't get, it didn't get the love that you think they, that it, they deserve. I think a good one for me, since I collect star Wars, right. Really falls into the sequel era, right? Cause a lot of people don't like the sequels, but if you put that aside, one of the most underrated figures I think was the Luke from episode seven, you know, the force awakens Luke where he's in from the very end of the movie. That's the only time he ever shows up and he's got the, the white robes um, with the tan, white and tan robes. And he's got the long hair and he's got that old sculpt. And I was going to say, there's a lot of different Luke sculpts that hot toys has done and not, and a lot of them really are not that great. And it's not on hot toys, right? A lot of different companies have trouble sculpting Mark Hamill, apparently. You know, it's right. not just the hot toys, but this one, this one looks great to me. The figure is great. It's got that robotic hand. You know, it's just on. I, I kind of got him when he was just sitting around on the shelf on my local comic book store. And I was like, hey, it's got a good price. I think it was like 20 percent off. And I picked him up and I'm like, I glad I'm glad I did. It looks great. Um, so I think he's definitely underrated. From you know, a design I, perspective, at, at least, you know. I, I would I would probably agree with you because I didn't pick him up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's one of these that fell under. I mean, I mean, Kiko, Jay, did you guys did you ever pick this one up? I didn't have this one, but I had the Hobo one, which I would argue is an equally good sculpt, which I think is fantastic. Um, but I ended up moving all my sequel figures out except yeah. for Rise of Skywalker, Ray, and Kylo. Um, I mean, there's some good figures, but I, I think if they just fell at the mercy of, you know, bad reception as far as, you know, for the fans not receiving them well. And that's why they're, they're not as great as people want them to be or as they're better than they actually are, which is why they're underrated. So, yeah, 100 percent. I think I think I would agree with yeah. you on that. Right. Uh, only because I don't I hate I hate the sequels. So for me, it was like, why am I going to buy this? I don't like it. And then I think a lot of people may have fallen under that same that same trap, like you're saying. And now you miss this, and you're like, "Wow, you know these figures are actually pretty good." What do, what do you think, brother cousins? Am I am I wrong on that? No, I think you're right. And um, I I jumped on these. Um, I jumped on this figure. Um, and I reason I've sold this figure. Um, and the reason why I sold it, it, it to me personally, it was just a boring figure. It was one. It was a one pose figure. Um, and I know some people would probably say, well, Mark 85 is kind of boring, too, because you're only going to put it in the one pose and everything like that. But I'm more emotionally tied to that figure and to that into into that, you know, line. Um, I'm, I'm emotionally tied to Star Wars as well. But I think th what they did with Luke, because I did sell this figure after um, the last last Jedi came out and I just didn't like Luke's arc at that point. And I just didn't. And as I said before, I was kind of bored with the figure, but the likeness of the figure, the the robotic hand, that head sculpt, even the outfit, it's all it, it was. a It's a great figure. It is a good figure. But just for me at that time, it just it didn't I, I couldn't pose it. I couldn't do anything really with it. So I just I just let it go. 
it is a stoic figure, right? Like there's not, you know, you're, you're not gonna, you're right, brother cousins, right? You're not gonna get a lot of posing out of out of this. Uh, so, in, in my opinion, um, mm -hmm. but even from my case, like I guess I started my hot toys journey so many years ago, and the first figure I ever bought was from a film I hated. Like I, I got, the, <laughs> it was a, it was a Chopper Predator, right? And it was from AVP. I love Predator, but I hate that first AVP movie. I thought it was horrible. That's just me. If you love it, hey, that's cool. Um, but I'm so much more into the design of the figures and like I got the Predator because even though I didn't like that film, I like Predator in general. I like the design. I got this Luke. Um, I didn't dislike TFA, but I didn't think it was one of the best films, but it was within that franchise. So for me, it worked out. Well, I mean, is this, uh, what do, what do you, what do you think, Aries? Cause I know you stepped out for a minute, but we were looking at what, um, some of the underrated figures may be. And then this was, this is one of Desi's. Um, do, do you agree with that, that this is, this is underrated? One million trillion billion gazillion percent. Wow. Um, this uh -huh. is, this is, yo, yeah, this is, listen, get the sequels out of your mind, um, for, for, for everybody, because it's not about that. This is about Mark Hamill portraying Luke Skywalker. And when it comes to Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Chewbacca, all four of those sequel figures are going to be, without question, grails in the future. Especially when, and there's heavy rumors now, and I always figured that they were going to do it anyway, at least Favreau and Filoni with Lucas, because I know Lucas was pissed off about it. They're going mm -hmm. to have scenes where they're going to have everybody back together, just like in Godfather 2. You're going to have, you know, you're, you're going to have some type of Snyder cut, if you will, however they're going to call it, maybe the Filoni cut. Um, and, and you're going to get some, some perhaps some extended footage, and you're going to have Harrison Ford, you know, Carrie Fisher, uh, 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 Mark Hamill um, together in something like that. And look, these are, if that happens, you know, we're 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 talking about if Han and Chewie show up in the uh in the book of Boba Fett. If they do that with these figures, my goodness gracious, they go up absolutely tremendous uh, tremendous. At the end of the day, that's still Mark Hamill. The mm. last Jedi is still Carrie Fisher, and the Force Awakens is still Harrison Ford. All those actors are uh, and actresses are, you know, obviously up in age. You know, Carrie Fisher unfortunately passed on. And when it comes to three years, five years, six years, my goodness, there it's not so much how you feel about the the sequels as much as you feel about those legendary characters. And all I'll say is this, everybody hated just as much and maybe even more the prequels. I still have the Jar Jar Binks True. ringing in my ear and how awful, <laughs> awful the attack of the clones was and didn't do good with this, and thank goodness for Revenge of the Sith because it kind of rebounded it, but no one really went out to go see it. Fooey, fooey, fooey. Those films are now, everybody loves them. Is it possible the same is going to happen with the sequels after Favreau, Filoni, and Lucas are done doing what they got to do? I say yes. You bring up a good point because they are the they are the heroes, right? These these yeah. are legendary characters. Yeah. So despite what you may feel um, about the most recent representations uh, in media, I mean that still you get older versions of uh, at least for me, like my childhood heroes, right? So yeah, I, I kind of see that. I just I passed, you know, personally. And honestly, if I could find them at a good deal, I pr I would probably put them in the collection because of that, you know. Again, I don't. I'm not a big fan, but I did get the. I think we all did. Uh, we have the Rise of Skywalker, uh, Ray and Kylo, because they're just phenomenal yeah. figures. Yeah, they're yeah. phenomenal figures. They just yeah. hands down. Um, now, Aries, though, real quick. I know. I know you're gonna have to be leaving shortly, so I wanted to just ask your your opinion on that of what your underrated figure may may be. Hmm. Oh. The First okay. Order Trooper or the Finn First Order Trooper? You can blow me up, Mr. Anthony. Ooh, yeah, let me go ahead and get you full screened here. Right here. And let me pull up this figure because I actually took it out. And 
Jay, you know all about this because I got this oh, from yeah. you, actually, baby. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. This is so underrated. I cannot even it, 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 it begin to explain how much this looks like John Boyega, especially with the sweat and the scene, which is not coming out great with, with my camera at, at the second. But again, just absolutely spectacular figure in my view. And I think it's severely underrated. Hey, absolutely. look who we got here. What's up? Mr. Sorry for being like guys. Logan John. <laughs> no, not a problem. Um, we're just kind of going over. Uh, I'm going to pull this up really quick. Um, What's going on, Aries? Just because I know Aries on? doesn't What's have going on? Good to see you. What's going hey, on, man? What's going on? What's up, sir? Glad to be um, here. Let me. There we go. I'll bring up the pictures for you. So, we're, so John, just to fill you in, we were talking about underrated figures, and um, yeah, this this stormtrooper Finn uh, is Aries's. Um, and if you want to go ahead nice. and kind of chime in on that again, Aries. Um, I got the pictures yes, up, and I, I I think you're right. I this is something I didn't get, but this really does look amazing. It's it's a great um, head sculpt of of uh, of John Boyega, and um, I just think it's underrated. I, I think it's it's a nice it's a nice figure. Um, you know, it doesn't come you know like like the whole figure in general. I'm pulling it, you know, it doesn't have the detail you know, inside the helmet like you would get with the Stormtrooper Han or the Stormtrooper Luke. I've got the Stormtrooper Han Solo from A New Hope. So, you know, that that figure certainly is, is one of my favorite in the collection. But just overall, I think that one's better than this one. Um, the, the head sculpt for this is just really um, amazing. And the uh, and, and the trooper is just a trooper. Um, it, it's good. Um, again, what makes the Han and, and, and Luke Stormtrooper one special is the detail. Um, they went the extra mile in inside uh, uh, the helmet. So I don't know what some of you guys think of that, but I just think this is a very underrated figure. I, I, I yeah, I've you know I don't have him, but looking at it, like, see, it's funny we like overlook things sometimes. Um, yeah, Jay, you said this used to be your figure then. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I was selling it on eBay, and. Um... Me and Aries ran into each other, <laughs> and I couldn't have told the two. Uh, you know, um, uh, when, yeah. When I found out it was Aries, I was like, "Yes, absolutely. This is going to you know a good home." Because as I was boxing it up, I was almost to the point where I was like, "Why am I selling this?" <laughs> because you start falling in love with it, and I really started to realize that, damn, this is a great figure, and why I bought it in the first place. And that happens when you buy so many figures. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you forget. You, it's so much stuff that comes out, and then you. But when you started to box it back up, and you're looking at it, you're like, "Wait a minute, this is this is a work of art." And it just it's a great testament to all the hot to most of well, I would say just about all of Hot Toys' work. It's these are high end pieces of art. They're not, you know, forget about you know the movies and the material that they represent, but just look at the piece of art itself. That is an amazing, a simply amazing, stunning piece. Um, but yeah, when I let it, it was kind of hard. I was like, I gotta let it go. But then when I found out it was Aries, I was like, well, like definitely, I know it's going to somebody great. Right, so. going to a nice, a good. Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't Aries, I probably would. I probably would have held on to it. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned the gut check when you're selling something, and you kind of have that last minute to decide: is this yeah. something I really want to do? And you start thinking over it. And you, when you take it out of the display and you start getting the pictures ready and stuff, that's your moment to decide: yep. do I really want to sell this? Because yep. if you have an indication that hey, this may not be what I want to do, I'm going to regret this. Put it back on the shelf because you will regret it later. But if you're boxing it up and you, there's no attachment, then you made the right call. That's right. Yeah. Well, well, now what about you, John? Since uh, you just kind of got in right in the middle of that, do you do you have uh, that figure or or that figure? No, I, no, I, I you... didn't catch the ones before. I just, I literally, sorry, I've just been doing stuff. Um, so, what did some of you guys say for your underrated figures? What other ones? Uh, well, we we were talking about the. Um, it was the Force Awakens, brain. Luke. That was my the Force Awakens, Luke. Mm -hmm. Nice, and and that okay. Finn Stormtrooper, and um, okay. actually, John, since you just kind of came right in, what what uh, what were you thinking for underrated? Uh, I think we talked about it a little yeah. earlier. Yeah, uh, underrated. I've had more of a think about it. Um, looking at my collection, I'm only going off my collection. I would say um, Infinity War Cap. I I feel like he's a little bit underrated. Um, I haven't done much yeah. with him yet, but um, but uh. I think I can. I think I can do some cool stuff with him. So I'm the looking Infinity forward War? to okay. trying to 
Infinity War cap. Yeah, see how I can photography, like get him in photography and things like that. Uh, so I think well, him I, um, would be underrated for me. Did I you? I, I don't remember if it was if we, you and I were talking about it. it. Was also the Aquaman. Aquaman too. Yes, sorry. Yes, and that one. Aquaman. Uh, that's another one I love. Actually, I should have brought it out. Um, well, I do have it here. Is the movie actually, one correct? The movie one. Yeah, I can get him out. Let's do it. I'm going to pull him yeah. out and put him on the table. Why not? There we now, go. Now, does anybody here, um, aside from John, Boom. have this figure? I, I will tell you that that I've looked at the pictures of, of, of this figure, Anthony. And it was kind of boggling the mind why there wasn't more, um, you know, more, more, more discussion about it. Because at least to me, I, I thought it looked really darn good. Yeah. Yes. It is in hand. I'm telling you, like, I've done some posing and some photography with it. With the right lighting um, and angles for your poses, he looks great. He looks amazing. And the, the color really pops. Like, And he actually um, looks really good with that Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah. So I've got him just stepping down. Just trying to that diorama base is fantastic as well. Yeah. Like, he's a wow. great figure. Like, I think he's cool, man. He's very cool. Especially, like, if you can get the lighting looking just right on him. Um, he's a beast. So yeah, I think that's definitely an underrated. Sorry, um, Anthony, I forgot that I mentioned that one to you. No, no, um, no. Yeah, course, I love it. No, I think he's great. Yeah. Um, he's got some posing issues. If you know, if if you're into posing like myself, like the, the upper torso is a bit thick and puffy, um, but I like the challenge of trying to pull off some good looks because you can, you know, maneuver him around to to get some things done. So yeah, it'd be mine. Well, O'Reilly Reviews just said, did you guys see the Ecto-1 went up on Sideshow Seconds for 11 Is that real? Because so that's that one of the... Seven minutes. That's a real thing? Because that's one that I wow. need. The Blitzway wow. one? What? Did you just miss it? I didn't know yeah, it was... So, sold out in seven I, I, minutes. I, oh I'm about to start goodness. refreshing. Uh, it's hard to keep track of those Sideshow Seconds. You don't know when it's going to go up. I, and, yeah, you got to have some like uh, bot tracker or something on it. Damn. And hey, real quick, with 75 in here, please go ahead and hit that like button, guys. And subscribe to everybody here if you haven't already. Uh, you know, we're just trying to give you, you know, bring you good content. Everybody here's links are in the description below. If you haven't already checked everybody out here, please do so. Um, but I think I think you're right, man. It's very hard to keep an eye out on those those seconds, man, because you don't know. And then, like I said, we were just informed that it was up, and then now it's gone. None of us yeah, had any idea minutes. it was there. Although any that idea. is exactly how I got my Rogue One Short Trooper. I was oh, just really? happy. I just have, yeah, I got it in November of 2020. And I just happened to be on the site, like checking on an order or something. And I was like, I wonder how much the price for that Short Trooper was back when it came out. And I looked at it and the, the button was green. And I was like, what the heck? So I added to cart, I purchased, and I immediately contacted them. I said, hey, guys, I think you got a glitch on your site and let me purchase the short trooper which was sold out and they're like no you got it it was like a back from the dead thing you just happened to be on the site at the right time so oh, wow. <laughs> right wow. place right time right know? place but, right time yeah. uh well kiko let me let me come on to you really quick and uh what what do you, what was your underrated figure i think i gave you a couple of them but one of the ones i think is extremely underrated and i don't know why maybe it's because they had an unceremonious end in their film but that is the age of ultron quicksilver which i think is one of the better head sculpts that is out there um of aaron taylor johnson it pairs so good with scarlet witch for one and he's got that really sick little track suit and i mean he's extremely posable you can do anything you want with him um got some sick kicks i mean what what's wrong with that but this is a really really good figure and i was really hoping he'd show up in wandavision we got a different version obviously there's still hope obviously that he could show up in multiverse of madness or so because i really liked this version of quicksilver in in age of ultron i know that movie was plagued and had some issues but uh it was pretty cool but that's definitely one of the ones i thought is a little underrated um i, I don't know if anybody else like the marvel pieces like this is this that one piece that, looks great man that's yeah a good I mean, one. he looks great you definitely need to have it if you have scarlet witch in my opinion yeah i he looks great i personally skipped out on it but i do i do know from time to time because you know as we talked about earlier where you we like to go look backwards sometimes and see what's what. And I don't, I don't think he's still, he's not very expensive. Um, it's been a while since I've looked, but he's definitely, I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that because you would know uh, having you, the figure 
you know, if 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 it's, you know, worth having. And a lot of us probably, I don't think, did anybody here pick this figure up? No, mate. Um, he looks very articulate, like he articulates well. Does he articulate really well? Yeah, because everything is just, he, he he's wearing a tracksuit. So, I mean, you can move yeah, him man. anywhere you want. And, like, I got him in a dynamic running pose. He comes with, like, you know, some running hands, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Um, he's cool. And he's got really good balance. He's got the nice ankle pivot. I mean, everything you would want in a figure. And uh, I would argue Sculpt that great. the, the, sc yeah. the actual sculpt is better than the prototype, in my personal wow. opinion. It's one of those yeah. ones where that it came out better. That looks fantastic then, man. Um, yeah, he, he looks a little saturated in some of these colors. He's a little more pale um, in the real version. Um, but uh, I think he looks fantastic. And if you have Scarlet Witch or Vision, I mean, it, it's it's a must. You definitely need to put them together. Nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah see, it's hard for me because I'm getting out of the Marvel games. See, it's funny. <laughs> we, we talk about these things. We look at figures that we've, we've often overlooked. And, and then, you know what I mean? This is what happens. Now, maybe there's, there's you know, out of the 70 in the chat, maybe somebody who doesn't have this figure is now thinking, oh, huh, maybe maybe I would get, you know what I mean? Maybe I will get this figure. It just, that happens. Well, it looks awesome. I mean, I think the ones that you that you put up so far, just, they're all pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, and we talked about that a little earlier too, Aries, that like when I was trying to think of, you know, overrated stuff, which we can dabble a little bit later, but I know even you were saying it's it's hard to look at some of those like that because at the end of the day almost every release is is pretty is pretty great um i mean jay i, I don't think we had brought yours up yet did we no. not but you're no. overrated or underrated i'm sorry yeah underrated figure for me is the cw's flash i think that is a great figure um i know a lot of people i know the, the the whole hype train for the flash is you know probably like three years three years gone <laughs> but um I, I still like the show i'm a kid at heart. i'm a big kid at heart so i still like the show i mean i think it's best years is behind it um but this was a good figure i i i, I love the outfit um i love the head sculpt i think the effects that come with it, everything is great. It's a it's a fun figure. Um, I enjoy posing it and playing with it a lot. So I just think it's one of those figures that Hot Toys could have put a little bit more. If they would have put a little bit more work into it. It definitely would have been something special, especially when we talk about like one offs. Um, so yeah, that would it was definitely it's definitely a good one. Um, it's one of these figures that you could tell Hot Toys probably had a low number. They had a low a low quantity with it, so they pretty much made it and just like get it out of here, get it. You know, they just wanted to get it out the door. Um, mm. But aside from that, it's good. I mean, I know there's some inaccuracies with the suit, and I know the little black markers, <laughs> the little black well, the little black areas on the um, rib cage look like it was done with a sharpie. <laughs> that that <laughs> sucks. But. Um, uh, outside of all that, it's still a good figure. I think it's a good release, and I think it got a lot of flack last year. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people seem to not like it, but I think it's. I think it was. It was. It's fine. It's a good figure. Fair enough. I was actually going to get it, but um, as as you may well you know, but I I had actually ordered this overseas, <laughs> and then they sent me a Mark eighty five Iron Man. <laughs> So it was like you need this instead. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. So I was like, all right. So we just kind of kept that. Um now, uh, but real quick, I know Aries, you gotta get going, bud. So um what's going on with you, bud? Let's let's go ahead and get you up on here. And uh again, thanks for coming in. And uh, why don't you tell us what you got going on? You know, thank you so much. Always an honor coming in over here. So I just need a little bit of time to prepare, but after your show. You know, coming up at uh, you know top uh, coming up top of the hour, eight o'clock. Is it possible that I am going to go live and raw with some big secondary market and some market news? And I say yes. So look for me on that a little bit later tonight. Got to go prepare just a little bit to make sure I'm set up. But uh, thank you so much, my friend, for having me on here on the show. Awesome vibe. Sorry, I'm not able to hang out more with uh, with no, Iron Logan, not at all. It's but a uh, pleasure to have you our here. Pads are my crossing. bad, mate. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Cheers, brother. Be sure, to guys, you, if you haven't already, go subscribe to Six Scale Cantina, and we Take will care, see you. Back you, uh, we'll Catch you back on the next flip side, brother. All right, Same have man. a drink, I'll be guys. Yeah.
You got we'll it. <laughs> All right, bud. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's, uh, those are all really great figures. Um, now I am curious though, on the flip side of that, what about overrated figures? What figure just was, do you think was like just severely like overhyped? Now I want to start with you, Kiko. What, what do we, what do you think? It's gotta be something. <laughs> Of course, and I, I don't want to make enemies, you know, in this game. I definitely want to have no, this people, all your opinion. Al. I, I want people opinions. to like me. I, I, I like that, and so I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna rub people the wrong way with this one. But when everyone loves The Mandalorian, I really do. I think it's a fantastic show. I loved when the, the Durasteel Mando came out, that first one where he's got, you know, uh, the roughed up look. But the most overrated figure to me is Beskar Mando. I think it was an extremely rushed release. Um, I love that one, but the Beskar one with, I guess, all the so upgraded this one armor. You enjoy. I enjoy that one. I think that is a beautiful aesthetic. He looks great with IG 11, looks good with Heavy Mando. But the Beskar Mando, here's my big beef with it. For one, a lot of people got done dirty because the Chrome version is coming out. And so if you didn't get the deluxe with that you could go and get the chrome one and you're going to be set but a lot of people paid to get this one because they thought the best car would be the standard bearer they thought that was going to be mm -hmm. the mando to get and then they released the chrome one but this one's got a lot of issues for me um for one he's he doesn't seem proportioned um for one he doesn't even come with relaxed hands um, that's another thing that's an issue for me. Um, there, there's a lot of misses and, and, and the thigh plate's wrong for one. And there's a, the colors don't make sense. If you look at it right there, that's like extremely brown suit as opposed to the chocolate gray. Um, mm. now behind me, I have the deluxe or the, uh, the quarter scale Mando. That's better. Um, much better. But this one I think was just, everyone's like, Oh, this is the definitive, the armored version. Let me get it. It comes with Grogu, blah, 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 blah. And I think it was just overrated. I think that it's cool, looks good, um, I suppose, but the jetpack's a little bit weak. The posing is abysmal unless you take the fat suit out. And I'm not the type of person to start ripping my figures apart and customizing them. I just don't do that. I I'm way too afraid to do that. Um, if you customize it, that's awesome. If you can actually like paint sculpts and do things like that, even better. Um, that's just something I'm not going to do. So from the posability, the overhypeness, and kind of the shady di business deals of the Chrome one coming out, um, this one fell a little bit flat for me. Hmm. That is, uh, you bring up good, uh, you brought up good yeah, points really on good that. Points. I kinda, yeah, yeah I kind of. It was just fighting like, words. No, I'm kidding. I was going to say, <laughs> I, I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now, guys. So you can all <laughs> talk about you just um, banned him from the stream. Uh, uh, thanks. Well, well <laughs> let, me, let me start with let me start with John then. Uh, do you have any um, thoughts oh, on, on on Kiko's opinion here, or? Uh, I agree with most of it, to be honest. I mean, I love the figure, um, and I did body mod mine. So I've body modded both my Mandos because I like for articulation and trying to create dynamic displays and stuff. Um, and no issues with it. Um, and yeah, I, I, I agree. The shady business deals, the way they did that, that you can see it's definitely a business move. I would say that every business should be trying to improve every time they do a figure, but it kind of feels like that they did put it out quick. Kind of like what they did with Venom, right? Um, and then get another mm. one out. So, I mean, I'm not going to get mad at them from, from my perspective because it is a business and they need to make money. And if I was in the same position trying to make money, yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you just don't know. Like I don't know. So I'm not going to gripe too much about that. In regards to the figure, the the things being in, inaccurate um, when their main thing is being accurate is a bit of a letdown. I think. Mm. I also think know, the whistling birds talk about, but... looks real weak. That's another thing. I think the whistling birds looks real weak. It looks real cheap to me. Mm. It, it it does. I mean, I I I have it as well, and I kind of agree uh, on most of your points. Uh, but Jay, uh, let me ask you that too. I mean, what do you? Uh, are they are them fighting words like you said or what? Um, no, I was just. I, I mean, <laughs> actually, Kiko, you brought up a lot of great points on that. Um, no, I was just I was just teasing. Um, I, yeah, I can't really argue those points. I do think I will say this. I think it comes with enough accessories because I think at this point this was the first time we actually got a one six scale Grogu thrown in correct so correct. and you had the hover prime you had that and i mean yeah they, they changed it i think they changed enough um of the stuff from the dura store release 
to 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 make this a valid release. Um, I I mean, me personally, when I got this one, I looked at it. I was like, wow, this is good. I'm the yeah. awesome figure to have. But then I kept looking at the Durastil one, and I was like, oh no, I'm keeping my Durastil. So yeah. you know, I I felt like it was good to have both. Um, but I can understand. Yeah. I mean, definitely with them coming out with that, I really think they should have waited. I think if they would have waited, if like let's say if we got an announcement of the Chrome version like now around this time of year, or maybe you know back in the summer or something like that, I think that would have been I think that would have been fine. But I think a lot of people were butthurt just going after this buying this one, and then they're like, oh, we have an even better version. I mean, that was. That was kind of shady. That was kind of. I have a question on that, if you don't mind me interjecting. <clears throat> no, go ahead, John. Real, that, real quick, let me just. Good... Yeah. I was just gonna say real quick. Let me say what's up to El Professor o Mario up in the house. Mario, Sorry. 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 Mario. what up, buddy? Yeah. But yeah, go ahead, John. You, you brought... uh, just oh, to what you said, Jay. Yeah, um, it got me thinking. Like, do you think maybe they had a <clears throat> quota that they had already agreed on with the Mandalorian to release two figures from season one? <laughs> Do you think yeah. that that could be a possibility? And because maybe they took longer to get both made or they were so deep into production that um, then when they got the deal, possibly got a deal to do the next Mando and they had the upgrade, do you think it could, that those types of things can affect that? You know, Do you think they agree to a certain amount of figures per show, per season? Um, and then with delays with COVID and things like that, did that push push back the original Durastil release? Maybe they could have been meant to be you know further, I don't know, like further apart. Um, but that's the stuff I think about too. Like... Is it is it them being maniacal that like like we think they are, or is it more just you know the way things happen? Well, if you if you remember about this like release that. specifically, the the Beskar one, it got bumped up to be an early release because it was supposed mm-hmm, to be coming true. out a few months before that. So, which makes yeah. it makes it even a little more awkward. Is that you know was this completely mm-hmm. a business move to where they needed to put enough space in between to announce the Chrome one. Um, and, and in my opinion, maybe, maybe you are exactly right about that. Maybe there is a contractual thing, you know, we need two Mandos a season or something like that, which is entirely yeah, I mean, I don't know. Just to, just to yeah, I don't, I don't know either, but it's definitely something mm-hmm. to think about. Um, either way, I think that this, this figure, I think it's a really great action figure and a bad Hot Toys. If that makes any sense because and it's a great action figure because you guys already point. mentioned it it comes with so many accessories it's a great package that you would gift to someone right you know a pretty good gift it's an expensive figure as all hot toys are but it's not a great hot toys i've said before that one of the things that i think hot toys nails nailed right from the very beginning uh before i never used to collect six scale figures because i think i thought they all looked like Barbie dolls. Nothing wrong with Barbie dolls, but the point is the soft goods weren't weighted or tailored appropriately uh, yes. because maybe they just weren't expensive enough. Like it didn't look real. Hot Toys came along, and all of a sudden, even their early ones started looking like miniaturized versions of people on your shelf. Yep. Right. So looking at that and looking at this, there's a lot of um, inaccuracies, but more so Grogu. Like Grogu doesn't seem like a hot toy. I know he's just an accessory. But why is he completely molded? That it should be soft goods. Yes. Like it doesn't. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't feel like he fits. Like yeah, I've got a pose next to it. It's right behind me, right? But it just doesn't. Which feel is why like I give a, more marks to the the quarter scale one because that yeah. one is soft goods, and they do have some mm. things right about that one. Um, yep. So very interesting stuff. Yeah, and 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 the, I know it's easier to do it in quarter scale because of the weight. It's bigger. I get it. But still, I think I, I'm just agreeing. I think they should have put a little bit more work into this one. And jumping on to that point, uh, like when my wife comes to my room and looks at that Marty McFly and Einstein, and my wife loves dogs. She's a big, we're dog people. And she sees that Einstein and she's like, that's Hot Toys? Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they could have did better. That fine. <laughs> that's Hasbro. <laughs> With those little sculpted, you know, those little sculpted characters or, yeah, they could just do more with that. I, I agree. I agree with you guys, especially on this one as well. I feel I felt like, like you were saying, Kiko, they, they pushed it back, and I feel like it was almost a, a, a kind of a, a bait and switch, right? And as John was saying, it's not sure if it was like maniacal, like we think it is, but that's how it. That's the impression, right? That at least that I felt, right? They they released this figure, and then and it just seems like just the next day, they announce the new figure, you know, with the sculpt, and. Um, I feel like all the accessories that came with this figure should have came with with the Durasteel Mando, and uh, it just it just kind of felt like a 
a little bit of a kick, uh, you know, to us as, as, as consumers, in, in my opinion. Interesting. Agreed. Yeah. Don't. Sure. Yep. And, not, and not that it's a bad figure but by any means, but I do feel like, and, and maybe that's the same situation that we're, we're having right now with Venom, right? We get this Venom and then the, immediately they're like, here's another Venom, uh, with the head sculpt. And you're like, well, wait a minute. I just bought this Venom and they're, they're not cheap, you know, and now granted, right, at least I'm this get time the they gave you the option. Yeah. They gave you the option to do that. It's good that they did that. Yeah. But still it, it feels, it feels kind of weird, right? Uh, so I don't know. If they wouldn't uh, have put that know. sculpt with Carnage, I would have been beyond pissed about the Venom. <laughs> right, I, 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 exactly. I'm okay with it, you know, because I got Venom. I'm going to get right. Carnage. I'll get the sculpt. But if they if they cheaped out and didn't give it with Carnage, that would have been that would have been. I would have to go on that one. No, and and I think um, I now I now I get it when they first because they announced Carnage before they announced the new Venom, right? So when they announced Correct, Carnage, yeah. I was like, oh no, oh no, now we've got Build a Figure from Hot Toys. No, Hot <laughs> Toys are too expensive for Build a Figure, right? But then yeah. they released the new Venom with it, and I'm like, okay, now I get it. They were trying to make the whoever bought the first Venom whole by at least saying, hey, you can get it, but you're gonna have to pick up Carnage. Um, I get it now, so. Well, I mean, it, there's definitely some out there, and and I think Desi, you you had brought one up uh, to me earlier too, as well, uh, of what you think is an overrated figure. Uh, I forget. Yeah. Yes, I did. Was I said Cap, uh, End Game Cap, and I know that's going to ruffle a lot of feathers too because that's one of my favorite characters, and I think I just well, set my, already getting heated. Look at John. Over I there. just set my expectations <laughs> too high of that figure, like, and in hand, the sculpt is great, like the the head sculpt is wonderful but this there's something about that suit that looks off to me especially in the waist area like i'm looking at it and mm. i could pose it people say they have trouble posing it. you could pose it nah. uh, you got to work at it but you could pose it. um yeah. but it just there's something about in hand i don't know what it is like in the back of his pants barely go up not that you're going to display him from the back right but on mine the back of the pants barely goes up like past what you can feel is his crack it's just it looks really it, it it looks weird to me now it's hard to name an overrated figure because i still think it's a great figure right but if you ask me to pick one from my collection i i would say that this is the one that i don't know for some reason i got him and i'm like yeah it's cool you know um mm. i still like my original uh 2012 original suit or 20 i'm sorry 2011 captain america mm -hmm. uh, even though you can't post him for save your life and his shield has yeah. completely flaked off but it's mm. such a cool design so that's just me I, I may have to fight you on this one because this was <laughs> one that did make my top 10 figures of the year um i think that this is the definitive one and i've not had any issues with my posing or whatever but the things that sell this one for me as being good and i'm not going to try to talk you out of it by any means um is is the face plates you know it's, it's very similar to the, so the civil war version um, I love the mesh at the top. You know, you got your you got your chain, chain yep. mail at the top there, and then being able to get Mjolnir and the broken shields, and I, I just feel like accessory wise, we're good, and that made up for mm. any discrepancies that we had. And I really like the head sculpt too. So um, I can this see where you're coming from. Amazing. And that's even the old one. That's not even the new that's one. That's the old one. Um, yeah. That's yeah. the old yeah. prototype. No, the head sculpt. Yeah. Head sculpt looks great. Yeah. There's no, there's no denying it. Right? Better than the prototype. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you think now, on that one? Oh, or John, yes, I'm okay. Go ahead, John. No, I go Jay first. Go in order. Sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, okay. I could see where people would say it's overhyped, but it, it, it's damn good. <laughs> it's a real good figure. Um, I, 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 that was, yeah, I think it's the definitive Captain America figure. I think it looks great. I think it's an amazing figure. Um, I, but is it overhyped a little bit? Yeah, I mean. Towards the beginning of last year, the hype's that well, the hype's on Marvel has died down completely on everything Marvel, actually. But around that time when it came out, it was like people were going crazy for this. But I will say it was it depends on who you talk to, it was worth it. It, it definitely is worth it. If you're a big Marvel, if you're a big Marvel guy, you're definitely you were gonna be happy with this. Was this figure worth the wait? Absolutely. It was definitely worth the wait. It was, I mean, you get so much with it. And that Chris Evans head sculpt, as we all said before, it was just it's 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 stunning piece and it, it i think it exceeded expectations and that's why it deserved the hype that it got but was it a little overhyped yeah it was because at the end of the day i think you'll pose it i i think there's other i'll say this i think there's other figures that are more funner to pose or to either 
give you more eye candy on your shelf than this one. That's what I'll say. But as its own Captain America figure, yes, it's a great figure. I don't know if does that make any sense or am I just talking? Yeah, you mean? Yeah, no, well, of course it, yeah, it makes sense. It totally makes sense. Um, yeah. I'll leave my thoughts last here though. Let me let me go ahead to John. I know you're you're wanting to chime in on that one. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say to Desi with the legs, um, with the trousers. What you can do. Um, if you like you can actually make the legs have more mobility by playing around with the the trousers so if you pull off the shin guard or the boot and pull off the shoe on the shin guard you can loosen the trousers at the bottom because they're wound very tight um if you loosen that you, it allows you to pull the trousers up around his waist a bit better so you can pull it up higher so there's not much of a gap as much of a gap between his crutch and the trousers itself so it makes it look like it sits um better because you have to pull it up because it's not pulled so tight in the opposite direction. I think if you do that, you'll realize that that'll change the look um, of the waist there for you. Because when I did that, it made a big difference. And then also gave me more like mobility for the leg posing, which I feel like amplified it. But in regards to Cap, um, for me, yeah, it's it's one of my favorite pieces. Like I just think it, it looks great. And I think the hype for me came from what, it, what this figure represents is the character and the moments from that character in that movie. That's what I got hyped about. And I think when we say about hype dropping down, I think hype dropped in the sense of people were waiting so long after it had already been released to get, and it was more getting Yeah, the distribution was a shame. It really was. Yeah. yeah. I, think I think that's like what my problem getting was. Getting upset at that. Yeah, like it, it puts you off the figure, but it's not mm -hmm. the figure's fault. It's it's the it's the timing of when, when you get it. Um, and for me, mm -hmm. like it didn't matter how long it took for me to get it. I want it to represent the moments from the movie and the character, and I think he looks the best out of all the other Captain Americas I have as that representation. And then you add on all the accessories and all the other fun stuff. Um, I think, you know, I think it was worth the hype for me, to be honest. Well, you know, and I... I... I'm going to agree with, with both both points. Um, with Kiko, I, I do feel like he was a little overrated. I do. I do. Um, I, I do enjoy him. I have him. Um, but I think part of that, I think what may have hit me that way so much is like we were talking about was just the delays. All right. So I'm, I was literally, I mean, I, I, he should have shipped like nine months. Right. And I, I was waiting nine or ten months and then I finally got him. Like, and that's a long time when you're waiting for a figure. We're already waiting, right? The 16 yeah, I mean, we're, or so we're, months. We're three years out from Endgame or something like that. Yeah. yeah. At yeah. least. And then I finally <laughs> got him and I was like, okay, I kind of feel the same. You know, like he's over there. Uh, he's out. He's out in the other detox in the living room. And I mean, he's okay. He's okay. Yeah. Maybe I don't have the attachment of the MCU movies as much. I've kind of mm. tapered down over time. I do enjoy it. I do think he's a great figure, but... Yeah, I would say he he. I feel he's a little overrated myself, and 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 that that's also the thing. Like he's he's kind of a pain, bro. Um, and I know John, I, and I I watched yours on your on your channel on your posed up how you did the the leg trick. You know what you're saying with the trousers and everything, and that does help. You know, get him in some you know a little bit more dynamic posing. But I feel like that suit is very restrictive in general. I I feel like that cap can't quite get the poses that I wanted to get with them. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And and I'm going to have to try that trick out because I don't, I don't put my figures in really dynamic poses. I, I just, I've always liked the museum, the, the stoic pose. Right. But I'm still going to try that. Cause it, my thing was, I could still get them into poses, but it was just mm. like how the pants come up. So, I, so yeah. Iron Logan, I'm going to try that. Sure. Yeah. I, I'm yeah, going to try that up. Uh, to see if I can get that, uh, because it's just his waist. There was something about that. It was like it really bothered yeah. me. Yeah. So I'll I'll try that. Yeah. Cool. No, and I and I did that after after watching your video, uh, John. That uh, I did the same thing. I pulled the legs okay. and pulled up the the, the pants, uh, you know, around the yeah. ankles, and it does help. It does help. Yeah. Um, and it's not a bad figure, but I, you know, I didn't really talk about my underrated figure, and and since we're we're kind of on that. Cool. topic I, I don't want to confuse everybody watching but um to me this was my underrated since we're talking about caps oh um, i yeah. love this figure and you might ask well what's much of a difference um and uh, between this and endgame cap and honestly i think so the endgame cap if you guys aren't aware um it basically it this is the endgame cap i mean the way he's got the the traps on the soldiers the body um 
I don't know if you guys have this figure or not, but if you if you have this figure and you have Endgame Cap, I, I think you guys would know. Um, they're they're almost the same, you know, body wise. Um, obviously the colors different and you know accessories and whatnot. But this figure for me was, it, it still is my favorite my favorite Cap. Um, do, do do either anybody here have him? No, but I want him. So I'm the only one here. I always really liked it, but no, I didn't. I, obviously, I didn't pick it up. Yeah, um, I don't get any I, of the contact pieces either. Yeah, I heard a lot of people like this over Endgame Cap. This I've is a this. phenomenal figure. It looks great with the with the head sculpt from Endgame Cap on it. I've seen um, yeah. it. It uh, does. I've, do I've, I've done it. Mm. I, I I love this figure. I just um, so I think to me, and, and again, you know, we all have our own opinions and preferences, right? But when I mm -hmm. I had this figure and then I got the end game cap and then you know what I'm saying? So when I have both of them, you know, in hand, this one just, I don't, I don't know if it's cause it's all black, you know? Um, I don't feel like the outfits are very, very, very similar. I mean, they're very similar, but I feel like this one can pose a little bit better and there's something about the all black. Um, maybe it's cause I'm a fan of concept art. And this isn't something that we had seen in in film, but it's it's great, man. Uh, it's unfortunate he's 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 been he's been sold out for a while, so I'm sure he's mm -hmm. fetching a, a pretty penny. But um, if you guys ever get a chance to pick this one up, it's it's a great it's a great piece, guys. It's a it's a great it was it was one of my underrated figures. Nice, for sure. Um, yeah. So anyway, I don't I don't know if. Uh, it's unfortunate you guys never grabbed it, man. He's, he's sweet, <laughs> man. He, he's he's sweet. I can find him uh, again. Yeah. Hey, one six scale hey, man, Leo. Up, shout man? out to my brothers. What's up, bud? How you doing tonight, man? Going, uh, man? We were just talking about overrated and underrated figures, and everybody's going after Kiko for his opinion on it. <laughs> Game <laughs> cap, but no, that's I'm. You know, it's okay. It's there's some I agree with in the same sentiment. A lot of people are like, "Oh, this figure's amazing," and then I'm like how you know there's they're, they're out there there's some out there and i just i think it's just we have our own opinions of things and i mean it's rough man it's rough uh because not you can't please everybody right there's other there's other figures out there right that um like for me like qui-gon perfect example i don't have him up here but like qui-gon Jin to me was is is phenomenal and i know a lot of people were like nah i passed yeah and um i love him i mean desi you have him right Qui Gon Jin, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's a he's a great figure. Solid piece. Yeah, I mean, solid piece. Uh, yeah, Jay a lot of people like to complain about the head sculpt, but I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. Like I know, I know it got softer from the prototype, and even then, it wasn't 100 percent perfect. Not all head sculpts are right, but I still think the figure is great and came with you know the poncho, came with some accessories. I think it was it was a good release. And Jay, you have them too. I, I forget. Oh, I don't have Quag on. My, my cousin has him, but he's phenomenal. I'm, I shit the bed on that one. <laughs> Should have got that figure. Yeah. And it's, I just I, I was this close to getting it and then just missed it. Missed it at my local, uh, my local comic shop. Hmm. Damn. You know, the collector's edition, I wanted to bring that up. He says Road War Thor is overrated. Sorry, oh. boys. Um, I may be inclined to agree with that. you on that one because it, it, he's got a great head sculpt, but he is not very poseable at all. He's got a very thick body, very thick uh, chest armor and such. And um, I, he looks good, but that's about all. He's more statuey than he is figurey. And those rubber arms start to peel and all kinds of bad things. Well, Lael says, Brother Cousins, there's a few Twi'leks looking for you. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> uh, uh, Palladium Poisoning, just subbed to the channel. Cool idea for discussion, Mafia. Looking forward to chatting up on this live stream. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I appreciate that. And again, with 82 in here, uh, please like and subscribe to not only this channel, but everybody here. Um, everybody's great content creators, great community. Links are in the description if you have not already. And I do want to point out that Kiko, I have forgotten to put down your Instagram, but you you already make great videos as it is, but your your Instagram is fire. And I, I want to bring that, that fire, fire because fire. that's originally how I had, had found you. It wasn't through YouTube. 
It was well, just I, from I, Instagram. I like to hear that, yeah. But I do like to do uh, toy, toy photos and such. That's kind of what got me into a lot of the six-scale six collecting is because <laughs> – I was like, oh, you know, these are fantastic to photograph, and they're really, really fun. So, yeah, if you do want to follow me, it's Kiko Collects on Instagram, Kiko dot Collects on Instagram, and uh, I've just recently started been adding pictures of the collection and shelfies to there because people have asked for that as opposed to just, you know, product photos. And so, right. I'm having a good time over there. It's so fun. It's so fun taking pictures, and that's you know, because I do that as well. So, like looking through Instagram, I was like, dude, and we've talked about it. I'm like, bro, how to, how the hell you do that? Like some of the some, some of your photos, your photos are just are, amazing, man. Yeah. So the, the lighting, it's the lighting. I got to get you on my show posed up so I can talk to you about lighting, brother. I need yeah. To, I, lighting I need is to going to make or break you when it comes to your photos for sure. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Uh, One six scale says Kiko, it was nice linking with you and John Sheets. Yeah, that was a hell of an episode <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I could have made Damn it. Man. I'm still trying to get over this, but um, I'm glad everybody was able to connect and have fun on that and uh, man uh you had great photos following awesome maniac uh desi uh your critic pops yeah thank it you sure does thank wow yeah. <laughs> uh, az fix says more shelfies kiko yeah man i uh, it's it's just wild to be able to talk about all this stuff you know with everybody and come in and and, and know that we all have different opinions right that for example you know you don't like end game cap but everybody's cool you know i love yeah. no i love that and i'm you know what i'm saying like it's it's good that we're we're able to talk about these things and not get you know angry with one another you know and have that civil art discourse. in the eye of the beholder mate yeah so, you have you to know, be able to disagree yeah of course we're not no i agree and, and i'm sorry what were you saying john i just said art is in the eye of the beholder man so you know we're all going to have different opinions because what a lot of it you know like what you said about whilst i agree with kiko on the the mando thing even with all those inaccuracies and things that happened with it uh, i still love mando and i still want the figure like so i can still agree with it but still also be like but you know i just love it anyway so i'm just going to have it anyway because i you know i just want all the mandos so i think you know we're all going to have different opinions um on overhyped or hyped or whatever because what does it mean to you at the end of the day you know um if we purely just did it on the the build of the figure and the the artwork of the figure and not the emotional meaning it would be saying different things i think you know because there's many different variables of why you think something's overhyped or not overhyped you know if i love something like a character like this i'm loving this i only just got this in last night um yeah let I me bring I'm, you up yeah. while you're talking because dude i haven't really yeah like i haven't done anything to the hair yet but um, just pl I was just playing around with the lighting to see how I could get it to look. And I'm going to have to put some work in with the hair. But, man, I love it, like, uh, to have a representation of Wonder Woman um, and just to look so, like, you know, with all the inaccuracies and things that people have said about it, like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I, I, I right, love you love it, it that much. I Do like. you have her on a yeah. rotating display right now? Uh, I don't, um, or... but I can move it. Yeah, so I, I moved the flight pole here to let the hair sit on there so it didn't um, swing around. Um, because the hair is kind of genius actually yeah <laughs> yeah just just yeah, hiding I was, I was it there i'm just gonna ask you like what's your opinion on that on that rooted hair um well this is the first rooted hair figure i've had um so i don't oh, really wow. know but i feel like just playing around with it then i got an okay look it definitely looks better if that camera is coming down from this angle looking up um where how i have my laptop now mm -hmm. i don't think it's capturing how like this head sculpt in hand man that's gal gadot like for me like looking at it in person bro like i'm blown away i'm absolutely mm. blown away by how much it looks like her um it just doesn't pick up on camera especially from that angle but like well because remember she's uh, she was getting a lot of flack yeah I man mean, from and some i'm, of us I'm even, telling you you know i'm telling you in hand um it's just it's stunning like my daughter walked into the room this morning as soon as she saw it she like gasped and, and fell onto the ground she's like oh my god that's so cool um <laughs> like she's like in in hand i'm telling you man like the things I have planned to do for my posing videos with this thing, with the wings and Batman and Superman and bringing them all in, I cannot wait to play around with this. Very carefully, might I add, because it's very delicate. Um, but like, people could say that this is overhyped or was a disappointment, but for me, it's an absolute win because I see past, there's things I don't care about. You know, what, what I care about is how much, do, what does it represent to me, that character? You know, what do I, I don't really go looking for negatives. Like, it's hard for me to, to look for that stuff it, it is and, I, and I, you bring up a, a good you know. point i think we should maybe touch on that um it's totally 
spontaneous here, but but I think I think you're right that at the end of the day, like you said, even if you're you know the the general consensus is that you know this figure stinks or whatever whatever it's 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 not other people's opinions don't yeah or shouldn't affect your your idea of what you know you yeah. want out of that figure and regardless like yeah. you said if everybody hates this figure and you love it you're gonna get yeah. it you, you know what i'm saying up. i think yeah. i think that goes I bet you we all have figures like that in our collection where someone's you know, said something they don't like about it be like oh, no but i just don't agree with that i really do like like I haven't been this excited to to create content with it like since you know for a while, um, and I'm really really looking forward to seeing what I can do photography wise as well. Kiko, are you getting this, man? Because I got to see you take some photos of this straight up. I just like, recently, outside of the Dark Knight figures, all my DC stuff is now gone because I, I finalized oh, it to being oh, just wow. Star Wars and Marvel, and then obviously the. Uh, the the 80s nostalgia shelf if you want to call it that so i don't have any more dc figures outside of the dark knight figures so uh, unfortunately this will not be added so i'm gonna have to live vicariously through you uh well look i'll have to do my best to try and take some photos i don't think i can live up to your standards though brother I'll oh no no no, no no <laughs> no i mean that's oh, you, and john you and that's the that's the that's the flip side of things because i was kind of like eh, i don't know about this wonder woman but mm. As we all, you know, grow and build friendships, you know, over time with one another and people in the community, we start to uh, value um, and respect people's opinions more, you know, mm. and, and with that. So when like hearing, for example, that you what you're really enjoying about this figure and what's so different about it, that mm. turns that turns me on to these figures sometimes. Right. Because. Yeah, you know, if, if someone's on the fence and you know someone, you're like, no, actually, you know what? This is pretty. Here's what's really great about it, and you, you know what I'm saying? We can connect with yeah. that and be like, oh, well, maybe I will. Yeah. Pay. You know what I mean? Maybe I yeah. will, because we don't know often, right? Like, we get mm. promo photos, and, and and you know, you get the prototype shots, final shots, and then there's yeah. a big difference between seeing a photo and having it in hand. You know, and yeah, once I mean, once you know someone has it, and they're like, yo, this is. Like oh this this we well, for those of us who have oh, it yeah. this boba two pack, this shit is fire. I mean though, if you're gonna yes. get it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I, I want to like, get it. I want to get it. Even, uh, even that one as well with. Oh man, I, I yeah, for me with this yeah. ride, I'm I'm looking forward to actually styling the hair. Like I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do. I'm like I want to see if I can get it to look money. Like that's like a little challenge that I have. Rather than looking at it as a oh, shit, I got to do the hair, and I'm not looking forward to that. I'm like. I'm going to find a way to make it look spectacular. And if I can't, you've got the helmet anyway, which a lot of people are going to do. So I'm like, I'm going to try and do as much as I can without the helmet. Get got it a looking built-in awesome, backup take plan. My photos. Yeah, you got your built-in backup plan. If, if you really can't figure it out, um, always put the helmet on and then it don't matter. And it looks fantastic with the helmet on from if you've seen. So you, you've, you've messed with um, the helmet. Are you, are you concerned that this is going to chip or that you have to be very careful uh, I'm figure. just going to be very careful. Very care. I'm very careful with everything. Like I'm not going to do anything crazy dynamic with the poses. I'm going to try and hit some. I have some like. Um, I've been looking at like elegant type stances, and I have this idea of I want to have her like flying down with her left hand out and have Batman like that, like them touching hands, like they're like she's about to fly off and he's letting go of her hand or something. Like poses like that, um, where mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be crazy dynamic, but like sell moments and scenes like that. So that's the type of stuff I'm looking forward to putting on the shelf and just playing with the lighting and see how it comes up. Because like I'm telling you, man, this th from this angle right here, I'm going to take a photo from this angle. That's her. Like that's her, man. Straight up. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. But yeah, she looks pretty, pretty great. She now I know good. Kiko. You said you're not, you're not picking it up. But what about you, brother cousins? Is this on the way? Yes, definitely getting this. Definitely getting this. Um, getting the standard version though. I don't have the room for the, uh, for the, ex for the expanded wings. But um, she looks. That would be my first Wonder Woman. <laughs> so yeah, that would be mine as well if I do. Yeah. And that's yeah. interesting. So you're not going to get the deluxe. It, does nope. that worry you that down the road you may have space for that and then would regret not picking that up? No. Nah, um, I thought about that. Um, but nah, I just don't have. A, I don't have the space. And I got other things. Like I already have a space allotted for her where I want her to go because she's going to be by the Flash. Um, cause I'm doing a whole little DC, I have a 
Detolf right over there where I have a little bit of DC, but it's like I'm cherry picking mm-hmm. the DC universe. Like you could probably see a little bit of the 1960s Batman right there, and then the Flash is down mm-hmm. there, and then I'm gonna yeah put uh, Wonder Woman down there, and then I'm still working that out how I'm gonna do that. But I'm slowly mm-hmm. getting into DC, so yeah. It's tough, man. We were talking. I think was it on your stream on the on your best of the best. Um, I think I think it was on your stream where we were talking so. about this this Wonder Woman and the nine the, the eighty four Wonder Woman the other release yeah. and yeah and and I think John you brought it up I'm as well that, that like, too, yeah we would you know have her in the wingspan on the top and then have the regular Wonder Woman you know ground floor and kind of create this like tiered display of the two Wonder Womans and. Yeah. That would just blow my flipping mind, dude, if I had that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you have the full wingspan. Because that's yeah, what it yeah. is, right? You want to talk about shelf presence. Like, yeah. Things was, like that, that really pop, especially her. She's so yeah. shiny and, like, yeah. dude. I'm being very careful with how I, how I handle it. I actually wanted to get gloves for this one just because I don't want to smudge it up. Um, and very cautious with, like, the waist grabber. It does have padding on it, but I would say anyone who's picking it up, just be super, super gentle when you're moving the... the ankles the wrists everything just really really use care when handling this because it does look beautiful but it i think it's very fragile um and that's you know just a part of it so just be mindful of how you yeah. gonna display it anyway sorry well to shit there, but. i would definitely want to pick her up but it's hard you know like i said with the you you gotta some you gotta pick your lanes right and i hate that this mm-hmm. is what we were talking about earlier in, in the show is that do we do we just bite the bullet we grab something right now or or do we regret you know down the road you know not getting it, it's so hard man and if you don't get everything you're always going to re- regret missing things i think you just got to know what for me it's always comes down to my collections all over the place because i collect what what means something to me and that could be something from star wars something from transformers something from back to the future something from your marvel like i'm just if i love it i'm just gonna get it um and so i don't complete lines or you know anything like that that's just for me because i'm not at a financial position to just buy everything um, right right so, otherwise i think we all would yeah right? yeah we of course well there's heaps of things i want i want that boba two pack but i chose her um over that i had to make a decision which one do i want now which one do i try to see if i can get later mm. um and when i when i nailed it down like Especially not having a female character. This is my first female character. I love Gal Gadot. I think she's beautiful. Um, I love uh, now having it in hand. I know I made the right choice. Like mm-hmm. and from seeing my daughter's reaction to it as well, because she's you know starting to yeah. clue in on that stuff. Um, seeing a, a female character represented, and seeing dad have that, I think is cool because she yeah. you know, she's into superheroes like me. So there's a lot at play as to why let's say I chose that over Boba. Doesn't mean I don't want Boba. I want Boba. I want that freaking weapon he has. That's sick. Um, but unless I can start balling and making lots of cashola, uh, it's just not. It's, it's just not right. there. I might have right. to go out on the streets after this and start you know, washing, washing, washing some windows or something, so I can save up some extra money to get uh, boba. Right. But we'll see. You, can, you just oh, can't yeah. have it all. That's the thing. You you just can't. Yeah. No matter how, and even if you had all the money in the world, you still would not be able to have it all. You know. That's you true. Yeah, to, and, and, and a lot of that, you know, like you said, your daughter's reaction. I mean, for me, that would have been the big. You made the right choice. Just you know, yeah, she's having away, man. Yeah, and then having that representation in the collection. That's just yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's true. That is that it brings up. A, that, that, that's true, man. I mean, it's yeah. hard. Uh, you know, like I said, I want to get her, but at the same time, I think I'm on the other side of the coin with you mm-hmm. where it's like okay i have to get the boba two pack mm-hmm. and if i can yeah. swing it maybe i can get this golden yeah, armor that's right yeah. you know that's what right. i mean yeah. Yep. yeah so it's it's a little tough um you know any any closing thoughts because i think we should probably wrap uh it's been a couple hours it's been a great we could we, we could talk another two hours easily um no. <laughs> but any any closing thoughts to tonight's discussion well speaking of what we were just talking about as i always like to say and i'm a broken record on this Keep a spreadsheet, guys. I know that sounds like like duh. Why wouldn't I you? I preach have that, that a lot. It's perfect. Yeah, when no. you when you when you start collecting, you know, you st- you start saying, "Hey, I got two Hot Toys figures this month. That was good." It's like, well, you just spent over six hundred dollars this month on toys. And that might be fine for you, but it might not. Just mm. keep a spreadsheet, especially if you're on payment plans or anything like that. You think uh, payment plans will solve your problems? Uh, they won't when you start no. them all up. <laughs> they get out of hand. So uh, <laughs> get out of hand. Quick. Sorry, bad. You know, bad advice. I'm sorry, guys, but you know, 
Just uh, wanted to put that out there again. Or I think that's important start, stuff. Yeah, when you start yeah, going yeah. on, when you notice you're buying hot toys very often and you're not going on as many vacations, you may have a problem. That's a great point. <laughs> That's it. May have a problem. <laughs> I've always Especially said people out there that have families and things like yeah. that. You got to be very mindful of that. No, yep. I've always said Sorry, that. DK. No, no, I, you you hit it exactly on the on the money. There <laughs> is that I always say is that whenever I'm talking to anybody about anything, when everyone's like, "Oh, cool collection" or "neat figure that you just got there," or "Are you getting this?" I always take care of what my wife needs first. It always comes down to that. Whether it make, I want to make sure she has her good Christmas, she has her trip, she has her date nights, whatever it's going to make her happy. Because at the end of the day, this means nothing if my family doesn't respect me or I can't provide for my family or something like that. Because right. at the That's end of the day, true. this is just fun stuff to hang out with y'all and build a, mm -hmm. build a good community. But I want my wife and my family to know that they will always come first. And so that's a very, very important stuff. That's right. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, it definitely is. And that's a lot of bonus points, you know? You know? It is. And then, I mean, it, because, I mean, just, uh, you know, I'm not trying saying, to like, make it sound silly or anything, but, you know, if this means something to you, they eventually see that. And then you end up getting like a really cool Christmas present. Like she ended up getting me this year. You know, she got I me mean, that Mythos Kenobi statue. I mean, out of nowhere. I mean, Ooh, that, that's, a, oh, that's wow. a hell of a gift. And that's a, I mean, she didn't have to do that, but she always says, if it's important to you, it's important to me. But, you know, you take care of her. And they'll take care of you, and that's that's the way it is in any relationship. You know, you put into yeah. somebody what you will hopefully you know get back, and you know also put into things knowing that you may not get anything back at all. It's always about being able to pour into people. So yeah. we're having a lot of deep life philosophies right here. I'm loving. Hey, it. That's what it's all about, <laughs> man. It's yeah. not always just about hype and FOMO and get this and get that, and you know, it's a collective. Well, it's a big world, part of man. our lives. Like think about all our lives right now. This is a this has become a massive part of my life. Like in this last yeah. year. My life has changed. The way I conduct every day has changed. You know, the way I uh, changed my whole routine, mate, like so I could be part of, part of these streams and, you know, things like that. Like now I would normally be at work, but I start work later today so I could come and, you know, come and be here and do things like that. So I've changed. It, it does. You need the people in your life to be on board with it if you want to do what we're doing at the minute, like putting ourselves out there, making this takes time and making content definitely takes time. Um, so I think you kiko you're right like if you want to do extracurricular things like what we're doing you need to be on top of everything else more so focus so you can create Absolutely. the time to do this because if you neglect other things and just use whatever time to just do this you'll lose those other things and this will fall mm -hmm. away at the you know eventually anyway so you've got to you've got to like i'm up at i'm up at 5 a.m 4 35 a.m every day so i can do this stuff for a couple of hours before i go to work before i come home and play with the family and and have dinner and all those types of things and that's every day for me like um if i didn't have the discipline to get up early i wouldn't be doing any of it or or i'd be trying to squeeze in it at night time and then that affects my family life and you know yep. each everybody's got to find their own way like, even if you're not making content you just like playing with your figures or watching these streams because watching this takes up a lot of time too. I've, I've been there doing that. Right. Um, it, it, I think you've just got to, if you get yourself disciplined and figure out what's really important, then you can, you'll see you can create time to do stuff like this and have fun. And I'm extremely grateful to be a part of it. So I can just, thanks for being here and freaking love it. Love you guys. No, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I love you too, man. We're pulling uh, on all the heartstrings <laughs> right now. <laughs> we are, you know. Hey, listen. She's it, bringing it out of me. Is that lasso? Is that lasso on me? What the, the heck? Lasso of truth is on you, brother. The lasso of truth out. <laughs> yeah, sure. Does that sit on my foot? <laughs> man, Shit. you know what? It, it, it is true, man. I, I love it, and, and 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 John's right, man. It, this this does become a part of our lives. There's a community involved, and there's friendships and bonds that are forged, and. There's there's agreements and disagreements and sometimes there's there's grudges and whatnots but everybody I think at the end of the day learns to you know come to go, come together you know and be able to talk and 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 share our opinions and feelings and and we've met I mean we've had a lot of fun outside of just the collecting you know just talking about hot toys like then you know we start talking about other things and new new ideas form and new friendships form and it's just it's great to have that community and and knowing that you have something to look forward to man and in, in some of these times because like we've, we've said before i mean there's a lot of bullshit you know going on in the world man that we don't really want to like talk about or mess with and it's hard and, and and a lot of us you know we don't may not have friends that are into this I and mean, we all know we've all shared stories about that 
you know, somebody yeah. comes over and they're like, whoa, what, what is all this shit? <laughs> be like, these are hot toys, man, or or <laughs> six scale. They're like, what? Is, what the fuck? Like they, you know. Yeah. So it's it's for me, you know. People don't get it, and and it's nice to be able to share that with everybody. That's one thing we all at least have in common. And then and and then we start bridging and, and forming new things all because of this. So I love this community yeah. and everybody involved in it. Everybody who tunes into all of us. It's just great, yeah. man. And and we're on a new year, so we've got a whole lot of coming. And I think we're gonna have a lot of coming. stuff, a lot of fun times ahead, man. Hundred percent. Um, Hell yeah. you got me all messed up now too, thinking about this stuff. No. Uh, <laughs> so let me let me let me get to the wrapping up then, because I know we all have some things to do. But Desi, let me start with you, brother. What do you got going on, man? Uh, well, I'm always building my dioramas right that uh i've just started again this week i took a break last december but i started up in early january and the big thing for this month too is that i'm starting a youtube channel all about crafting dioramas for six scale oh, figures nice. and 12th scale Hell so yeah, about time brother hopefully Hell my yeah. first video will be coming up either maybe tomorrow probably wednesday and i'll have a one to two videos up this week at least so nice. looking forward to that nice can't wait to watch them yeah, and thanks. for those who don't Hell know, yeah. yes, Desi does make some amazing dioramas, custom displays. Do Thank check you, them out. Do you I'm ship sure you're wide? already backlogged a bit, but yeah. Yeah. very impressive stuff. I know you're going to be I'm working on I'm definitely going to hitch up, man. I've got some ideas. I've yeah, awesome, man. I, I have to say, the only thing with international shipping is that it's become very, very expensive. I know we all know that, but like, especially for diorama pieces that are huge um yeah. yeah but i i just uh i shipped one earlier this i'm in miami florida uh i shipped one earlier this week to the uk and it arrived uh yesterday nice. so yeah ship worldwide nice. hell yeah, yeah. No, i'm hell willing yeah. to pay for uh for what i what i want so all good. awesome awesome well kiko this is your first time on my channel again i'm so glad you're finally able to come in um because of which you shall be honored with the full screen Plug, my friend, please let the world know. What do you got going on, brother? Oh, man, this has been fantastic. And I saw somebody in the chat earlier said, it's good to see Kiko making his rounds. Um, been <laughs> on uh, been on Will's uh, place, twice. Been on Will's stream yesterday, been on yours to, um, today, um, been on Six Scale Cantina. So I've really been enjoying jumping into people's different live streams and such. And so thank you guys for having me on for that. As far as what's going on with me, um, continuing to put out content on Instagram with the toy photos and just the collection in general. And then obviously, you know, the Kiko Collects uh, YouTube channel. Um, that's one thing that we're also doing. And I'm going to, th this is going to be bold, guys. I I'm going to throw it out there. You're going to hear it here first. All right. I'm making oh. an official announcement. Um, my, my push for this year, as you knew, last year, I think you maybe heard about it as you know we were pushing for 2021 subscribers for 2021 um and, and we got that and so now we're upping the ante is that for instagram and and the youtube by the end of the year we got some really good momentum running for instagram and youtube i want 10,000 followers and subscribers by the end of the year for both youtube and instagram so i know it's a lofty goal but we got some good momentum and i think that you know we'll keep putting some stuff out there and we'll, we'll see where we land so um i appreciate the community more than anything especially some of the deep uh philosophical conversations that we had today that's been fantastic i appreciate that and uh it's one hell of a ride guys hell yeah and you know what that's not a lofty goal by any stretch man i i, I feel like you can do that that's the beginning of the year right now yeah uh, everybody here of course if you haven't already subscribe to everybody here uh definitely kiko you you're, you're gonna get there brother you I, I appreciate um, that and the next video coming out because people ask for it is <laughs> i was putting all the wet all i know we're middle of january and i'm finally putting up the christmas decorations putting them away and i took a quick <laughs> picture of i guess my storage things and this is where all my boxes are and they're like we want a video of your box collection essentially back there so we're going to do a new video of showing all the crap in storage and what I do with all my boxes. So if that's your thing, that's going to be coming up here real soon. Good one. Yeah, Hell dude, yeah. definitely will. Uh, and speaking of John, John just hit his thousand subscribers. I know I'm, yes. I'm lagging behind brother, but congratulations. Yeah, we'll get you there. That. Let's get you there. Yep. We'll get We're you working there. on it. Um, what do you got going on, bud? Oh man. Um, well, um, 
yeah, just did the giveaway yesterday. So um, it's been a crazy week. I went from like 997 to now I'm at 1,242, I think, in the oh, last week. That's a good wow. jump. So nearly, awesome. yeah, massive jump in the last week, which has been very humbling. So very happy um, and appreciative about that. Uh, man, I'm just, I mean, we got uh, Take Your Position live every Sunday with Leo uh, and Brendan. So we do that um, generally on his channel, but every now and then we'll do one on my channel like we did yesterday. Uh, so that's every Monday. Posed Up is my show where I interview a fellow collector or content creator. Um, this coming Saturday, um, we have Anthony from Six Scale Poses Facebook group is going to be on, um, and we're going to do some Transformers stuff. So um, I want to do some three six uh, three zero and sorry three zero and, and my Optimus Prime Hot Toys uh, posing. So that'll be fun. Um, Looking forward to hopefully getting Desi and Kiko on the channel one day as well to, to do a show and have a chat. I'd love to chat to you about dioramas, Desi, and chat to you, uh, Kiko, about um, your channel and photography, definitely. Me and Jay and you have already done our post up, so I have to get you guys back on there for another episode soon. Um, just about to finish my Ronan 10, uh, 10 scene story styled posing showcase. This is where I tell a verbal story to 10 scenes of poses um, to music um, with my figures. So I've done a couple of these videos on the channel before. I'm about to do one on Ronan fighting my Deadpools, um, mm. incorporating samurai um, posing techniques and things like that. So I've researched sword fighting and tried to pull off a couple of those types of poses for this video. So if you're into that stuff, check that out. That should be dropping in the next couple of days. Um, and then I'm gonna be working on this. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. It might be, I don't know if it'll be a review more so as like a shrine to the figure and some posing and things like that. And just my thoughts on it, I guess. Um, yeah, man, sorry. I'm taking up heaps of time. Uh, but yeah, Yo, working on dude, a lot. Take all the um, time you need, brother. Bro, <laughs> one cool last thing about. then. One last thing. I'm hyping it up so I don't bitch you out. Right, I here's, here's, the hype, here's the hype. Here's the hype. All right, guys. Okay. I started yesterday. Uh, my vlog series where I'm training to uh, cosplay as Spider-Man. So I'm doing oh, a vlog sick, series for the sick. channel where I'm getting into cosplay and I'm getting a proper, proper um, red and black Spider-Man suit with the head um, mask that has the mechanical lenses and I'm full on going all in. It's gonna, it's like two grand it's gonna cost me to, to get this suit. Um, but I'm gonna do a vlog series documenting my training, recovery, nutrition, um, for it um, because I'm in the fitness industry and I'm, I want to kind of document me getting back into shape. Um, so that's going to be something new and pretty different from the one six stuff on my channel, but it will be a part of the channel. Um, so if anybody's into that or looking for training motivation or just wants to follow along and see me trying to do backflips one day at 39 years old, um, you might get a laugh at that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on this year and lofty goals as well. Like that's you, super cool. I want to try and get my channel up there to you know, I'm, I'm going for 2K next. That's my next goal. Once I get to 2K, then I'll worry about that. Yeah, next yeah. sky's the limit, brother. Appreciate appreciate the time to, to plug it all. But uh, look, and just Always, looking forward to course. hanging out on these. You know, I love it. Absolutely love it. That's what it's all about. At, at least over here, you know, I can't speak for everybody, but definitely here I want on my channel everybody to just feel welcome and be able to talk and, and share their opinions no matter how out there they may or may not be man uh all opinions are welcome yep. all fandoms are welcome i don't care whether you're into marvel whether you're dc whether you're star wars oh, whether yeah. you're left you're right i don't care it's all about <laughs> this is a place where everybody can just chill and have fun talk figures and come together and leave all the bullshit out there somewhere we'll let other people deal with that uh so yeah. with that said brother cousins my man dude i'm so yeah. glad that you're here again um wow. it's always a pleasure what do you have going on my friend dude thank you so much for having me man i really appreciate it as all as always and speaking with you guys this is just great um so yeah um best of the best on thursday and hopefully my power will stay on <laughs> <laughs> is the video still up I think it probably is. <laughs> because somebody was like, so did this happen? Or right, right. I was like, I, no. No, didn't happen. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but yes, um, so yeah, we're doing best of the best. Um this Thursday, we're gonna have a great panel. So I feel like I should look in the camera like Will. <laughs> hey, brother, man. This, this is your time to shine, brother. Do my will. Do my yeah, so yeah, man. Um, yeah, so we got best of the best. That's gonna be third. That's gonna be Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm um, gonna still working out the panel. Anthony, you know, Anthony's gonna be there. Probably a few of these guys. A lot of these guys are probably gonna be there as well. 
Um, also, um, we have the I Want Rex contest still going. Um, once I hit that 1,600 subscribers mark, I will be doing a stream, and we're going to be giving away a Cap Hot Toys Captain Rex. So um, be on the lookout nice. for all that. Keep, That's uh, a great keep giveaway. subscribing. Keep subscribing. Keep subscribing. Um, and subscribe to all these guys on the panel here. These, these wonderful community. You know, thank you guys. This is just great. Um, and also, oh yeah, I'm actually working on a collection tour video. So I'm going to be doing that. Ooh. I'm going to be filming that tonight. It should be out tomorrow afternoon. So um, be on the lookout for that. And uh, that is it for me. Well, we got Dan and Dre, nice. Dan or Dre or both. I never know what these guys six scale reviews, brother cousins. <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me know if you need someone for Thursday. You're on it. <laughs> You're on so, it. You heard it here oh. first, guys. Oh. Um, absolutely great. Uh, you know, everybody here again, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. It's this is the hardest part for me, man. So I'm going to do my best real quick as we wrap up. We had Cuervo in here tremble dust um i don't even know if i can click on everybody but Ma maniac uk pedro lopez toku collector who couldn't join us tonight he's stuck at work which is not a problem we all have that happen uh beskar kid philip the fool ashley chase six scale reviews dan and or dre either way what's up brothers thanks for coming in soul nightmare uh big dog pound one up in here joey doll uh, of course, we had Aries here earlier who had to take off. It was a pleasure having him as always. Knights of Ren, uh, Collector Number One, Maz's Toy Box, um, uh, MB Dyson. It's just so many people. It's, 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 it's hard to scroll through, guys. CT603, you know, trying to come up through the chat. Everybody who's in here 808, Michigan Jedi, Louis Lebitz, uh, Single Songwriter, anybody I forgot, Palladium Poisoning, Collector's Edition. John Pence, thank you. I know that you are a, a, a follower here of Kiko, so I appreciate you coming on in and checking out my channel as well. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Soul Nightmare as well. Uh, Lale earlier, one six scale man, was up in here. Again, there he is. Shout out to my brothers. I don't know if he's still watching. I know he's got stuff coming soon. But appreciate everybody coming in. JB Collection as well. If there's anybody I left out, please know it was not intentional. You guys all know that we love every single one of you tuning in. Now, uh, with that said, uh, anything, final closing thoughts, anybody here on the panel before we leave? Happy collecting. <laughs> Happy collecting. <laughs> Happy collecting. I should probably tell you what's going on with me. I almost ended the stream. I'm really bad at that. Uh, so you guys know, I do have my thousand subscriber giveaway coming up. Um, that's going to be, well, I guess that's going to be when I get a thousand subscribers. Uh, so we'll see How when that gets are we? there. How uh, close we are, are we? currently, let me go ahead and just refresh this page, uh, to look here. Um, 836. Nice. We're getting there. So little ways but not not too far away i'm not in a rush you know um it comes when it comes uh, i just appreciate everybody tuning in but when that happens mm -hmm. i do have an ig11 sealed um that i'm gonna go ahead and give away once once i hit that thousand mark uh you know i have a on my home page right on the channel there's a a uh, promoted video right there that you can look at and that's the video that kind of gives you the details on the giveaway just uh you know go ahead and just comment on that that video so I know because that's what we're going to do when I hit that thousand. We're, we're going to have a live stream, a special, you know, thousand sub live stream event. Um, I don't know when that's going to be, but you guys are all more than welcome if you want to come on for that stream. Um, and we're, we're just going to kind of shoot the shit, you know, with the hot toys and talk about stuff. And in that stream is when we're going to we're going to go ahead and announce the winner. So you would want to stay tuned on that one, obviously. Uh, you want to be able to be in there. I want to make sure it's fair and that it goes to somebody who's actually you know what I mean? Um, a, yeah. a community member who's who's a part of us and not just some, you know, random guy. You know what I'm saying? So it, it'll it, it'll be really cool. I can't wait for that. Um, the the Boba Fett two pack at some point there will be a review. Um, I'm just trying to get over Hell the, yeah. you know what I mean, the sickness. So as soon as I'm feeling a little bit bit better, uh, that's going to be coming. And um, I think tomorrow I'm going to be on Dante's uh, Manaha Collectibles for his uh, his. Um, I forgot uh, between collectors. I'm sorry. So tune in over there. If you guys want to see me over there with Dante 
and I don't know, possibly Wednesday, I may be with Lael. That's yet to be determined. Um, either way, go check him out as well. Everybody is a part, everybody's links are in the, in the description um, of this video for everybody who, who is here and who is not here because the community is amazing no matter what. So I want, I want to make sure everybody knows, you know, where to go, who to check out, all the great content creators that are part of this community. Um, with that, I don't think I have much else other than, I guess I should say Saturdays. Brother Cousins, I should check with you. Will you be on on Saturday for my review show that we normally do, me and Mario? Um, I got it. I may have a thing. I'm going to get back to you on that. Okay. Get back to you on that. Okay. But I think I okay. think so. I think that may happen. Think? I think. Okay. But let me get back. Give me a. Give me a to the end of the night. Yeah, we'll, the we'll the work night. on it. We'll yeah. we'll work on it. Uh, Cuervo no. just subbed to Kiko's channel. Awesome. Cuervo's a great guy, uh, and so is Kiko. So I'm sure you're gonna enjoy his content. Uh, I, I I like your videos personally. I, I like how you you mm. kind of deep dive into some of these these topics uh, that not a lot of people cover. And appreciate the insight. Uh, I'm sure everybody does Hell who yeah. has, has watched your, your videos. Um, appreciate you, brother. Well, well, with that, yeah. So I do my reviews on Saturday. We call them that because it's, it's with me and Mario, El Professor o from Collecting Weekly. And we have been going through the Rogue One line of, of, of the Hot Toys. So we started with Imperial Disguise Jin, Then we did K2SO. And this past Saturday, we just did um, uh, Director Krennic. So our next episode is going to be Shurit. Yes, but we weren't sure if we were going to do it this Saturday. We may push that one back a week because if Brother Cousins is coming, then we're going to kind of have a little mid break and review the 1966 Batman and Robin. So Yeah, baby. And, yep. then, and then we will continue with the regularly scheduled Rogue One figures. So anyway, guys. Mario <laughs> brought the fire with that yesterday. Both those Dude. figures, he brought the fire with them in. It's Holy so fun. Shit. It's if so fun saw doing that. that. Mario's just balling with the Dude. Batman. I love it. And it gives us, it yeah. gives people an opportunity to take a look at some of these older figures and being able to do it live, you know, so everybody can engage and talk with us and kind of get that, that retrospective of these figures. And we, and we can both do it together because we have them. So um anyway guys it was, that's gonna it be it <laughs> it's it's hella fun uh appreciate everybody here on the panel and watching with that said guys we are out of here so you until next time you guys have a great night see ya peace out